Well, hey, fr hey, Saya. So happy to see you. I was just texting all the peeps. I have so much stuff has happened in five days. Again, every week I do this. And every week I'm like, what? what? How did this all fit into one week? Hey, everybody. Hi, Craig. Hi, Linda. Hi, Deb. Debs. Oh, my goodness, Rael. I, okay, first of all, YouTube drama and etiquette. Oh, my God, I have to cover this first. Hey, Angela. Um, so I'm watching this video. A, a notification pops up, and it's like this person I've, I've, I'm subscribed to, like, over 800 channels. I like, I sub everything I watch almost. It doesn't hurt nothing. It's free. It's fine. It's cool. Hey, Dreamcatcher. So this video comes up, and I watch all the Hermes videos. I am not chasing after Hermes. I don't own Hermes. I just am fascinated by the journey. I love the stories. I love everybody's stories. I love what they have to do. I love what they want, what they want. I love once they get it. I love it when they get five of them. I love it. I just love listening to people's Hermes stories. I think it's fascinating. Um, and so I listened to her. This video comes up. Hey D, this video comes up and it says the Hermes effect right and it i turn it on no big deal whatever and then it's like jacob's on i'm like wait what why is super jacob hey linda s happy friday like why is super jacob on this other woman's i thought i was on the wrong dang channel i thought i had opened a different video and then here i am and i'm like no and then it goes to this is that her intro has all these other content creators like one after the other people i don't even know i'm looking in the description box like shouldn't they be Shouldn't, shouldn't they be like credited or something? And then, so the intro isn't credited, but then as you watch the video, um, in little teeny tiny, tiny little print, it credits the content creator. But the content creator, there, this lady has spliced in, edited in over like 30 different content creators using their voices and likeness and sound clips, like complete sentences and words. Like a good 10 minutes of her 30 minute video is other people. That she never credits like it she never calls them out she's never listed i'm sure they don't have a clue they're in this video i'm like hello i'm like this can't be right this isn't what people do it's like and i'm like is this legal like because i'm like if you're using someone's likeness you're using their voice recording there, she says it's under fair use, but I'm like, you're monetized. You have 50,000 subscribers. This is the first time I have ever thumbed down a video. This is the first time I have, in the entire time I have ever watched YouTube, I have never thumbed down a video until now. And I unsubscribed because I was like, if this is how she teeps, treat, teaches, treats her other fellow content creators, and this is the etiquette that she's exhibiting, and she's making fun of, of the journey. She's making fun of these people. She's not being complimentary. I felt called out. And I don't even have Hermes. Hey, Cammy, um, it's fair use if it's under a specific time limit per clip. So, but yeah, but all those time clips together, she has like 10 minutes of content that isn't hers. It's other people. I was like, you know, I don't want to watch this. I did watch the whole 30 minutes. I did. Um, and then I unsubscribed. <laughs> and then I just, I just unsubscribed. I'm like, okay, whatever. I can't deal with this. I can't. If this is what she's, this is, this is what she's doing. So I was just really like kind of shocked. I was really kind of shocked. I just did not know people did this. Um, I am a small YouTuber, so I haven't been around that long. Um, so I'm just like, okay, this is what people... Uh, and I, what bothered me more than anything, uh, Brian says, hey, Jackie, who were you talking about? Sounds like I would have done the same thing. I, um, don't I don't remember her name, but I will I will text you later um, privately. I don't want to blast her out in the it's not fair you know it's not polite either um doesn't matter if you thumbs down if youtube up or down it, engagement that's true it's engagement um yeah but she's like the thing is like she used all of this other people's content to make her case to essentially mock people really i felt called out i felt like really i 
I was like, I don't even have Aramis, but she's making fun of, of it. She's calling it a game. She's calling, she's not calling it journey. And, and as a, she, the, what I think what bothers me more than anything is that she took clips, sound clips of parts of other people's videos and then essentially put words in their mouth by editing out other words. Like essentially by lining up her editing the way she did, she took sound bites of several people's contents to make it all sound, to make fun of them. I mean, I know she's, that's not her intention, but that was the result, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm not going to tell you who the content creator is, but there's a content creator out there with a large subscriber base that used a lot of other people's videos, like clips, like Amelia Rose, the Super Jacob, um, Jesse Styles, and I, yes, those are the ones I could recognize. Like, there's people in there I don't know. Like, she used a lot of people, um, like 30 different content creators use little bits of their videos to make her points instead of just talking about her issues and what she thinks about this phenomenon she did armchair psychology and then she just kind of just like it wasn't very cool guys it just wasn't cool um and it's it's, it's not it's a lot of work it's not like it's a little bit of work guys it was a ton ton of work um Milo Watson, really? You two? <sighs> um, yeah, so <sighs> yes, those two are ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we just got home. Um, and she probably got a crap load of views. Oh, yeah, she probably did. She probably got a ton of views. I she has a super huge um hey Montana. Um I thought it was the couch, not Milo. Oh no, no, that's that's Milo's head. You just can't see see him. His toes, his little feet are sticking out. Um, oh, sorry about the commercials. <laughs> so I have so much stuff to talk about. So I watched the Caleb's video about coach and luxury. I watched um, uh, Autumn's video. I didn't watch uh, the closet by Connor because. I don't understand him, and I think I take his words wrong no matter what he says, so to avoid that, I just don't listen to him. Like, I know he's Dale's Mer Meredith's friend, but and there's a three Ps or whatever, but I don't understand his Aussie humor. I don't get it. Um, hey, da oh, hey, yes, piss ki kisses, kisses. Um, uh, Connor, yeah, he's too snarky. I don't understand him, so... I don't get it. Um, are your Harry Bendel is so cool. Yes, Raelle. I loved your Harry Bendel bag. If you don't follow Raelle's closet on Instagram, she's on Instagram and she had the coolest bag. Um, cause, uh, Saya from like uh, frozen luxury is talking about Harry Bendel. I don't know Harry Bendel. I've never been to their store. I don't know their history. I know nothing. All I hear is people say, I wish they were still in business. And I'm like, who are you talking about? Because it was not in my realm of notification in life. Um, I normally love his videos. That one, meh. Was it the K? Uh, which? Oh, Connor. Yeah, Connor. Um, but what the one with Caleb did, I thought that was interesting too because he at least worked for um, Coach, so he can talk about it. But okay, y'all have heard my rant about luxury, so I'm just gonna say it again. James and I talked about this reluctantly. I talked to him about this. Um, okay, that's not true. I ranted at him about this and reluctantly he had to respond to me because I was ranting about it. <laughs> um, I'm so glad I had that piece of history. Yeah, snarky. Someone called me snarky once. I'm I'm a snarky. Um, discover. I don't know what that is. Um, so, um, luxury. I have always associated luxury when we talk about goods and items um, as imports and duties because there's domestic and imports, right? And I kind of explain this to James this way. Okay, a a, an example everybody may be able to relate to, when you are purchasing alcoholic beverages, beer, on a menu, it will say imports and domestic, and there will be a different price. And those prices for the imports is higher because it costs more to bring that over into America, right? And domestic is a little cheaper because it's local, 
right? So imports and domestic. That's how I kind of equate this. And I think this works out really well because handbags classified as luxuries are because they have to be imported in terms, right? So there's a luxury and importation tax. So I always tell people, and what's happened is we have assimilated this into our culture to associate all European old world things as luxury goods. And as soon as you bring American terms into it, like American designers, oh, that's not luxury. Like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Coach, Michael Kors, they're luxury. Kate Spade, they're luxury. I'm sorry. If y'all don't think they're luxury, I think they're luxury. Just because they're not old and European doesn't mean they're not luxury. It's just because we assimilated this cultural term as consciousness in our culture that thinks luxury means old and European. That's just what, that's all I'm saying. That's it. Rant done. Rant done. <laughs> because I've talked about this way too, bit, too, way too much. Dreamcatcher made in England handbags. Cool. Um, Brian, I think it's the Brooklyn in me because I have to take a look. I think of Lucky, I think of Lucky in the traditional way. As so, coach is not luxury to me, but goes, does that lessen the value of anyone else? What hell do I know? I don't think so. I think luxury is not a beholder. It's like what Saya said it's, it's subjective, it's whatever you think luxury is. Um, luxury. It's a non-necessity, period. Uh, someone snarky, someone else required taste. <laughs> like, Keith J, hi, Jackie, how are you? Thank God it's Friday. Hope you had a good day. Oh, my God, my day was so long. I didn't think today was ever going to end. I was like, is it 5.30 yet? Because at 2 o'clock, I was like, is it 5.30 yet? <laughs> I had such a busy week. Um, I I meant luxury, not lucky. Ah, luxury, Yes. Um, luxury I consider goes by cost. It's subjective. Again, it's all subjective. Five dollars is expensive to somebody. Um, so if it's imported, it's luxury from China too. Well, that's the thing. Yes and no. What I'm saying is that we consider luxury brands um, to be in bag land to be things that normally when you, when you say luxury to somebody, they're not thinking Michael Kors and Kate Spade. They're thinking Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Longchamp. You know, they're thinking European brands. Now, here's the thing, though. When you talk about domestic in imports, um, Ford is domestic. All their parts are made in China. So now is it an import? <laughs> I don't know. Things have changed. The world's changed, guys. The world's changed. I just can't consider handbags from China luxury. That's fine. But most of my China, my both of my bags are made in China. It doesn't matter who, what names on it. You know, a lot of them are made in China. A lot of my best bags are made in China. Um, I just can't consider handbags. Made for, oh, my gosh. You know, China. Okay. As the, the Asian in me has to address this tomorrow. Hey, Lynn. Thank you for the tip. I had pizza tonight. Yay! Is I think it's National Pizza Day or something. Um, let, let, me, let me talk about as an Asian person. China is a very old country with a great deal of art and a whole lot of history and amazing craftsmanship. So I personally will take offense to that. But I understand where you're coming from. I get it. Most people do not understand this. You think of China. You think of cheap Chinese food. You think of Chinese American things. You think of Chinese products that are inexpensive. I think of China. I think of the Great Wall of China. I think of the Ming Dynasty. I think of porcelain. I think of art. We have different frame of references. I'm part Chinese too, guys. My mother's Thai Chinese. I am also Chinese. So it's just one of those all about your point of view <laughs> so my point of view is i'm asian american <laughs> i don't have a problem with chinese products i do have a problem with things made in a way that's not safe or illegal or using child labor or um, exploitive which is also but i have to let um, countries regulate their own selves right China is a totalitarian country with a with a government that they know exactly what they're doing. So anyway, off my rant, <laughs> off my rant, because I'm not here. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Lunar New Year. 
Um, so today, somewhere, is Lunar New Year because it's already, you know, the 10th um, on the other side of the world. Um, yeah, Keith, I, yeah, I understand. Oh, you're Korean. This makes a lot more sense. Um, not to be rude. I'm not rude. I'm not being rude here. But nobody is more picky about Asian anything other than other Asians. <laughs> You ask my my Thai mother, and she will tell you a whole lo host of things about Korea. And she, we lived in Korea for a while. You know, things that are made in China are only as good as the material and buyers willing to pay for. Yeah, we want to pay for cheap, and they give us cheap. Um, that's China, Jackie. Mm -hmm. I never owned fine China disposable. I never owned fine China. Oh, really? <laughs> my gosh that's hilarious um she says you were korean well actually um my um well anyway moving off this topic um so i want to open an unboxing before we get all down the rabbit hole i didn't mean to go into a huge rant over stuff but um it's just a sensitive topic today guys this bag came from goodwill moving on this is a woven leather bag. It's made by Madewell. Um, and it's a close Madewell is owned the upline to J. Crew. So it's the same companies. And this is, and I really like this because I was in this kick of looking for woven leather because I like woven leather, but I don't have Bottega Veneta money. So I went with um I, I have Cole Haan, and this is from Madewell. This is really cute. Um I'm getting full. Oh, I think I'll be fun. Um, I'm missing some stuff. But anyway, y'all keep talking. I don't think so, Keith J, but I'm half Korean and it counts for anything. So this is um, my cute pouch. It's considered a bag, guys. Um, yes, I have a woven bag from the Goodwill somewhere. This is, um, it has a crossbody strap. But because of the padding in here, it's very padded. This could bear, this is this is very small. And I have a feeling the whole reason why it's ended up at Goodwill is because it's very small. This is a fantastic pouch. This is not a fantastic bag. As a pouch, I love it. Um, Dee says, I just got a woven leather bag and I love the way it feels. Yes, that's cute. Matches your Bottega from the other day. Yes, it did. And I used that Bottega. Excuse me, I used the Bottega the other day. It was fantastic. Um, um, I thought you knew from from class. Oh, um, I'm missing something. So someone clue me in. Clue me in. Um, someone should give me tutorials on how to do lives. Um, I okay. So Jackie, how many? bags do you own i see so many behind you could you use a different bag every day of the month yes for a month i could use a different bag every day for 200 days and that's an estimation i haven't actually done a real count because it's embarrassing i have a shopping problem this is why the title of this live is don't do what i do guys i'm i know y'all are here to 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 watch and it's entertainment and it's fun and you're here to hang out with me and i love that but um I have a shopping problem and a 25-year obsession. <laughs> and I deal with stress with shopping. I used to deal... Okay, so this is not new. This is not new. So I have been buying jewelry and makeup and shoes and bags and books and needlework. So I have always had hobbies. They've always been expensive. They've always been excessive. I am, I am, not, um, I am not the um, do things... I, I believe in the we live once and just go for it, right? And I'm 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 employed, um, so I I'm 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 good. And perfume, yes, that's right, Jolie. I do have perfume too. Um, so when I yeah, thank you, Deb. Uh, so when I have, Cammy says we all do, Jackie. That's why we're all here. <laughs> yeah. So um, my bag obsession really went into full gear two years ago, three years ago, really. Um, but at least your home looks clean and organized, at least. Thank you! This is actually what my home looks like, guys. Some people would not say it looks clean and organized. I have minimalist friends that my home drives them crazy, because this, this drives them crazy. <laughs> 
and I work really hard to make it look as neat as I can because I have a lot of stuff in a small space. Um, I, I was just at TJ Maxx looking at their bags. We're all, yes, totally obsessed. But um, I used, so I got this bag from Goodwill. And I think all in it was about fifty dollars, and somebody asked somebody asked me today like, show the bags you bought this month, and I'm like I can't show you the bags I bought this month because people are showing like one bag. Like guys, I bought ten more more than ten bags this month. It's upset obscene. Um, this is not normal. This is not normal. I, I'm promised promise you this is not normal i do buy a lot of bags but never this much at once i have dealt with my stress in the worst way possible and um but i'm enjoying it i literally am i am loving everything i have purchased i have no regrets that i have bought these things um i i might have my husband might have regrets for me <laughs> and our bank account but i don't have regrets i love what i bought but i am going to show you the bag i bought today um if i can find it in these boxes that is um a guilt purchase like i feel guilty for buying it not that i bought it you know i feel guilty that i bought it we're all hermes fans the question is who has who has one that's true hey um hey dolls donuts i fully support you um Enjoyed your video, Saya. Saya, yes, we loved your video. Okay, let me see if I can find the box I need to open. Um, this is a box. If I could, if this is the one I think it is, which is this one, this box. This one just came today, and I need to open it because if it's the one I think it is, I bought it from Mercari, and Mercari is such that when you get items from that platform. You have three days to rate it, and that's how, because you have to accept the purchase, and that releases the funds to the seller. They've already made the sale, they've already shipped the item, and they've been waiting for you to get the item to say, yes, I like it, yes, there's no issues. If there's no issues, you say accept, and that means they get their funding. And there's... Um, Guilt is useless. <laughs> it's a useless emotion. <laughs> yes, it's not very productive, is it? Guilt. Um, Cammy's key says you don't have a lot, but went through Hermes phase a few years ago. I don't have any. Um, I have nothing from Hermes. I, oh no, that's not true. I have a lipstick. Oh, mm, this is the guilt purchase, guys. We're we're starting off with a bang. This is not the one from Mercari. This is. I had no business buying this. None. Um, where is the... Uh, okay. I'm just going to show you and it will be self-explanatory. <laughs> this is the one I... The guilt. And the reason why... It, why do I have guilt? I had the opportunity to buy this for like $175, but I didn't have $175. And then there was an opportunity to buy it for like $125. I didn't have the $125. And I said, if I ever get the chance to buy it again, when I have the money, I'm going to buy it. So I bought this for $250, which is with tax and shipping. This bag is normally $300 brand new this is brand new it's still factory wrapped it's still gorgeous this is the disney 100 bag in the tote version now why should i not have bought this i have it in the domed version <laughs> oh my god right um yeah it's um if you have one you don't need two but the domed version i bought i bought on my first cruise and it was brand new release then. It is one of the most beautiful bags I've ever seen. But this is the one I would have purchased. This one. This one. This one right here. Because I love tote bags. This is the tulip tote. I love this bag. What I ended up with was a dome. A medium dome. So I don't need both. I don't. But I have both. Do I regret buying this? No. Am I asking forgiveness? Maybe. 
Um, I'm kind of glad I don't desire Hermes because I couldn't afford it anyway. Yep. Thank you, Ariel. It's really cute. I know. I know. Okay, I'm opening it. Because it's not going anywhere. Now, somebody bought this. I don't know if they bought it and didn't like it. Or they bought it on sale. Or, um... I know nothing of the history, but that literally has not even been out of the package. It's not one of these repackaged things. This literally is the way it comes from the factory. And this is, um, normally this is a $298 bag brand new. So hopefully they got on sale because um, they sold it for $220. And I bought it. And I was hoping I would lose the bid because I lose a lot of bids. I lose a lot of bids, guys. But this one, um, it just comes and goes in waves. Sometimes people go crazy over these and they'll buy them for that price. And sometimes people don't. And it was just one of those times where nobody wanted it but me. And I bought it because for a time. So this is actually under retail, even though it's, um, and it's still brand new. I'm assuming... Um, I bought a couple bags that were brand new Disney bags that people would get them for a gift, but they don't really like the gift and they keep them out of, and then, then they sell them. And this is, I love Disney. When I started watching influencers like Jackie, Jamie, Winnie, Yoda, I was, I watch all the same people native. Um, wish Jacob was here. He'd give his opinion about the clips. I would, I want to hear his opinion. I'm sure we'll get his opinion just when he gets better, right? So I, Mickey Mouse and Friends are my favorite. Okay, who is buzzing? Oh, it, somebody from New Jersey just tried calling me. I don't know. I don't know anybody from New Jersey. Um, Anyhow, let me put that back. So I love Pluto and Donald. These are my favorite characters, except for Chip, you know, the Chip and um, the Chipmunks. Uh, Chip and I watched them as a kid. They were funny, but they're not my favorite. But Goofy and Minnie, Mickey, Pluto. Where's Donald? Donald and Daisy. So I love this bag. I love this bag. I think it's one of the most beautiful. It's a very Art Deco motif. This is their 100 years, which makes sense because if Disney's been around for 100 years, this is nine, as they started in 1923, because that's when this came out in 1923. Um, perhaps tomorrow. Man, Debs, I hope so. I hope he's okay, because that, that, that flu will take you out. Um, hey, Santa! I have... Never seen any of the old Disney cartoons. Not <sighs> really, Craig. None of them. None of the OG originals. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I love. I love the OGs. But I grew up watching Disney. My my family was very. They didn't want to have to figure out what we could watch so they said you can watch the disney disney channel the family channel the hallmark, hallmark channel that was it you know so <clears throat> that i opened so there's another box i need to open i need to find it maybe it's this one it would have to be this one uh, so let's see this one came from florida you know how many bags i end up buying out of florida it is I, it's almost mind-boggling how many bags I end up buying in Florida, you know? If I could count, i say most of the bags out of my collection come out of California and come out of Florida. I don't know why. I don't know how. Um, Lynn says, maybe they are made out of gator. <laughs> Those old ladies selling their wares. Yeah, I know, right? You have been... Oh, Don, Don, I have fallen off the deep end. I Christmas doesn't look as crazy as my house does right now. Um, yes, each box only contains one item, but there's a lot of dang boxes in my house. Um, okay, this, this is Craig's fault. He takes all the blame and, and, and Don loves couture. Both of those two people, Craig for showing me. Don for talking about it. Craig for remembering I wanted it <laughs> and then showing me. <laughs> so as my an enabler friend, he is now 
um, allowed to show me photos, but no links, because I cannot be trusted. <laughs> look how awesome oh my god he's um he's the best influencer this is okay so on my 2024 wish list of bags i had the um ricky which now, i now have and i have two rickies and i there was a bag on there called the the india bag by the row which i probably will never get because it's way too expensive i mean like thousands of dollars and the bullied which is also thousands of dollars from Hermes. That is one of my wish list bags. I love the bullied. Um, this is not it. <laughs> my mother in law is still in the hospital, dream catcher. She's doing better. She had the um, heart catheter done. So now they're just seeing to see how she responds. We're going to go see her tomorrow in, at the hospital. So we'll have more of an idea. Hopefully, if everything's okay, she should be moved to another facility for a rehab. But that just depends on how her heart responds. If her heart's not doing well, probably more surgeries. But that's the update on mother-in-law. Um, but she can see us, by the way. Um, not not only can she join my lives or see my lives, but I have a nanny cam in here for my dog. So she checks on the dog's. Yes, it reminds you of the bleed. It does. The setup is like the bleed. This is a long chomp. This is um, Don Les Couture showed one. And ever since she showed hers, I wanted one. Totally wanted one. And her, she got hers for a song, and a song and a dance. Now, mine was not overly expensive, but it wasn't a song and a dance, guys. It wasn't a song and a dance. Um, let me show you. Because look at how beautiful this bag is. Um, oh, look at that. She made a little package. To, that's cool. A lot of people don't take the time to actually wrap it. Um, I know, right, Linda S.? This bag is amazing. So this is what Birkin Boy told me. So Birkin Boy, Craig, as you all know, he has Hermes products. So he knows. Um, Jackie, that reminds me. I need to tell you something regarding... Okay, um, so this is a leather-lined Longchamp, and he says that the setup is very much like uh, what the Bleed is. He says it's like almost a one-for-one one here, um, except this is from Longchamp and not Hermes. Still French, still beautiful, still wonderful, but it's everything I love in a bag, right? It's a dome leather on the inside and the color is just so awesome right so yeah right is that and i have i've had several long shot bags i have found and i don't know if this is just a product of current demands like i had two of the 3d i can't remember the name of the bag thong shops and i had one of the the mail bag which is a newer they're newer bags right those three bags i've moved on. Two I traded to with Ed Braun. One I traded to with um, John Loves Couture. The ones I've kept are the old ones. Like this one. And the other one I have which is underneath my desk is another old one. They they feel different. They just, they feel different. Um, while even the interior pocket is the same. That's what, that's what, that is what Craig was telling me, Keith, is that this looks just like, um, like a bleed. And I said, okay. I, I believe you. <laughs> And they said, I can't afford $3,000 bleed, but I can't afford a $95 long chomp from Mercari from Florida. <laughs> yeah. The strap, can, yeah, it's strap right here. It has strap right here. So it's a beautiful bag. Um, pack the bag up with a little weight and hang it on the doorknob for a few days and it'll straight. Oh, okay. Yeah, the heat, they did, it did get a little smushed in the, um, in the package, the way the, the box was a little bit too um, small, even though it was a big box. Um, you need to look up Dawn's Dooney Addict. Yes, I, I like Dooney Addict. I watch her. Oh, you're worse than Abel or Jody. Uh -huh. I was watching indubitably Sydney's today. She showed off her Greta pattern. Who goes to eBay to look at more Greta pattern? Me. Who has the Greta pattern? I do. You know, why, why, why do I do this myself? Um, the zipper pocket inside is far across the width of the bag and high up on the Amherst Believe, but I prefer the layout. 
Oh, wait a minute. Isn't as far across the width of the bag and, and as high. Oh, you mean this one right here? Yeah. So this... Hmm. So this says Longchamp Paris made in France. And there's the all the little numbers, which mean nothing to me. Um, but this is a beautiful bag. I'm, I'm super thrilled for this one. I wish... Um, I love dome bags. I love boxy bags. I love brown bags. Um, I love bags. I love all the bags. <laughs> I do... I did on Instagram. The zipper pocket... Okay. Very similar to mine, but mine has shoulder straps instead of handles. Yes. You have a dome bullied or domed long chomp too. Uh, yes, the zipper is a little different, but the layout is similar as far. Hey, look, I don't care. I think it's gorgeous. Like I if if I was a fairy godmother gifted me a bullied, which I mean, I'm not gonna say no, it, it would be amazing. But at the same time, I'm happy with this one. <laughs> so I don't I don't have to chase after something because I love a domed bag. All the domed bags. I like domed bags. I like leather bags. I like Alma's. I like uh, my Coach Revel. I like um, my Dooney dome bags. I like a domed bag. It doesn't have to be a brand. Yes, Dark Blue, you saw pics. Oh, yes, I did see that. Oh, Linda. But I want to talk to you also about the bag I use today. You know. So... <laughs> This is my Max Mara bag. And I did a little bit more looking up on this bag. When I tell you I love this bag, again, Craig's fault, um, I cannot tell you how much I love this bag because it's just not, words don't, there's not enough words in the English language, and we have a lot of words, to explain how much I love this bag. The color is gorgeous. The, the functionality, the shape, the quality of the leather. This is better than any of my coach bags. Any of them. My old ones, my new ones, my... Um, and why? Why am I saying that? Because I have a lot of coach bags. Um, the, it's the thickness of the leather. You can feel the thickness of the leather. Um... It is, this is, you can, by touching it, you can feel the leather. I like a thick leather. Coach leather can be a little thin. It can be a little bit more delicate. This is, this is a structured bag. It has a really good thickness in the leather. The saturation of the color is amazing. This is a bag I bought out of um, Italy off of Vestier Collective. I love this bag so much. I bought her other bag. It's in the mail. And this is when I tell you I have a problem. This is when I tell you I have to stop buying things. Because I have all these boxes that you can't see. And because I had to get the other bag. And Max Mara is an Italian brand. I had to look it up. I know nothing about this brand. I, I know they're known for coats and clothes. And, and Craig said, they make great stuff. And I'm like, and he's the one who showed me this bag. Um, so I'm like, well, I'll bite. I like a blue leather bag. I don't know anything about the brand. I, that's fine. I don't care. Great price. I'll buy the bag. And then I buy the bag. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the most fantastic bag I've ever had. Their bags run anywhere between 500 and some, they're on sale. Some of them are on sale right now for like two and a half, but they're like little pochettes. And then um, they go all the way up to a couple thousand, but they have everything in between. They have from 200 to 2000, but mostly in the thousands. Right now, this color's not there, but this color, oh my god, um, it's so cool. Um, yes, guys and gals, Maximar is a fantastic brand. Don't sleep on it. Yeah, apparently, they've been around since the 50s, um, and it's an Italian brand, Italian-owned, still Italian, clothes still made in Italy. I can't afford their new stuff. This looks brand new. This is used. You know, like y'all... My Ricky bag, that gold Ricky bag, is 10 years old. You know, it looks brand new because whoever owned it didn't use it. And it's now new to me. But it was still a 10-year-old bag. This bag, who knows how old this bag is? I don't know when this came out. I can't read whatever date codes are in here. All I can tell you is this bag is phenomenal. Like, um, but I'm buying another bag. And I now look at purchasing 
things, like, is that worth the $200? Or do I go look on Vestier Collective and buy something like this for $100? This wins. This is winning. Winning. Like, winning. Like, I don't even look at new merchandise anymore. Um, the only bag I'm looking at brand new right now is a Radley of London Year of the Dragon bag. That's it. All the other bags that I was looking at that were new, gone. It's like, nah, I don't need that one. No, don't need that one. So my habits have changed. Um, I'm still purchasing too much, but that's, and I have a space allotment issue. Um, but all the bags right there, this one, this one, and this one, all pre-loved. That one was pre-loved, but gifted. This one at the very top. So that one, these are all came to me. None of them were brand new. Um, <clears throat> so it's just really cool. Um, it's just really, I'm just having a way too much fun. Um, way, way like this. Okay. This one, this one is actually brand new, but I bought pre-love. So does that count? You know, so it's not currently in the store. It's just no longer being produced. It's so funny. These, these collections, if they had just sat on this bag for one more year, or even six more months when this became more scarce, they could have sold this for what they what it sold retail or higher. Because the Disney Juni bags come out every two, six to eight weeks, and they're limited runs. This is a limited run. They don't reprint them. You, you have to buy them at Disney Properties, or you have to buy them at ShopDisney.com, or the um, sometimes you can get them on the Dooney website, but very special, very rare occasions. Sometimes some of the outlets could get them, but they have to be vetted. I mean, Disney is serious about their exclusivity. They they make it so that if you're exclusive with them, you are exclusive. You know. So, anyhow, I am on cloud nine right now because of all the bags especially this one this one makes me so happy i'm gonna use this one tomorrow guess what's happening tomorrow guys is the chat frozen i think are we still live throw me a heart i think my chat just went bonkers um oh there we go it just glitched total glitch Tomorrow it rains. Yeah, I know tomorrow it rains. But tomorrow, I am going to meet Dee Dee Bean. We haven't been able to get together in like five months. Are you clean cleansing your home tomorrow, Jackie? No. What I need to be doing is getting rid of all these boxes. Um, is kick me out three times? Really? Yeah, something's glitching. Um, storm might be coming in my area. Um, I do live rural, so we do have issues and. Uh, we're we, storms are probably going to be coming tonight and cooking a pot of rice and sweeping the floor <laughs> kick me out three three times wow for chinese new year no i should be my mother really didn't quite do all those things mom mom didn't really pass on those those traditions to me um i had to close mine and reopen it it froze yeah mine did too it just kind of stuck there. Please don't be doing that. Come on, YouTube land. Don't do this to me. I have all these people in here. Hopefully, are we still ticking? I think it's on my end. I think it's on my hosting end. If you guys... It's still... The clock's still counting, but it's freezing a lot. It's working good now. Good. Okay, so... I am... Yeah, for Lunar New Year... Um. My my Vietnamese friends have different traditions. My Thai friends have different traditions. Um, and for me, it's just like, normally for us, we just do, um, like, I know in China itself, you want new clothing, you want new things, but um, you give away money. But in Thailand, what we normally just did was just give give alms to the, um, to the monks, you know, and, or, or give, donate to the temple, which we don't do. You know, I have a temple here, but it's an hour away. Um, oh, great, Cammy! Everyone is very quiet. That's okay. Whoo! Thank you for no issues. Um, we're having a lot of storms in the southern region right now. Yes, we are. Um, right here we are. Um, so anyhow, I have so many boxes next to me. It's just 
in insane. I'm gonna have to just open another one because I need to get it away from my feet. Um, eBay. This one came from Washington State. Interesting. I don't know what's in here. I never know what's in here. You know. I just know I have to open these things because people keep saying, please review your purchase. And I'm like, I don't know where it is. I have to open the purchase. And I feel like, you know. Okay, this one has a invoice. So, I'm ha oh, my Ban Island trip. My Ban Island trip. Oh, gosh. Linda S., my Ban Island trip failed. I think it failed epically. Like, I did it for three weeks. I did it for three weeks. I did... I guess I abandoned Birkin Boy. Craig, he's there by himself. By himself. I abandoned him completely. Um, it was totally stress-related. And it just happened. And I need to... James very lovingly reminded me today. Um, Jackie, we have three trips this year. I'm like, what trips? What are you talking about? Because we have a cruise in April. I'm like, oh yeah. We have a Disney trip in September. I'm like, oh yeah. And we haven't bought the tickets. I'm like, oh yeah. And we have another cruise in January of 2025. We have to pay for. I'm like, yeah. And we just had to buy an engine. I'm like, okay. So Jackie's bag fund has just become Jackie's vacation fund. So we're going to make this last for as long as I can because this is going to be mostly it other than bag, bag swapping and trading. Um, I can't keep buying bags like this. I really cannot. And like, I'm not joking. Um, it's not one of those I say it, but I don't mean it. I, I mean it <laughs> because um, Ban Island is not by choice. <laughs> Uh, plus, we have to get together to watch Dune Part 2. Yes, we do. Um, I haven't been hearing good things. Well, okay. The good news, Lynn, is that we know how the book ends. So regardless of what happens in the movie, we know how it ends. Um, I can't go on a trip on Ban Island. I can't afford the airfare. I know, right? Airfare to Ban Island's expensive. Craig's still there. He's doing really good. I don't know how he's doing it. Um, I can't do it. You know, I've been to Ban Island for two years. Ke really, Keith? Well, you said you had an Hermes journey. So um, I missed the Hermes combo. So what Hermes bag do you have that you love? Let me continue opening this box. First, let me tell you, don't judge too harshly. I bought this item for $10. It was a $10. Giant box, $10. The shipping was $5. And the tax was like a dollar. All in. This cost me $16.66. Okay? All in. $16. $16. So, yes, I buy a lot of things. But I love all the bags. Da, da, da. Yeah, maybe now I want to use this one tomorrow. Watson's like, is there treats? There's plastic rattling. He's like, is there food? No, no, there's no food. Now this one I can't blame on on my, uh, my on on anybody but myself. I can't blame anybody um, but me. This, I can't blame Craig. I can't blame all, any of my other friends. Um, this is all Jackie. This is a $16 bag. This is a beautiful, epically gorgeous eel skin bag. Yes. Ooh, I have to go to my walk. Uh, have guys nice walk, Lynn. Um, ignore a phone call. How much I miss. Aw. Um, this is eel. This is eel. This is eel skin. I have a bag. I have two bags in fashion file reserved. I'll pay it off over two months. I feel like I'm not. It's, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yes, right? Look how beautiful this bag is. And did I mention it was $10? <laughs> 
you know, with shipping and tax, it was $16.66. This is an eel skin bag off of eBay. <laughs> so it has a front pocket. It has, it's a, it's a two divided. It has the awesome YKK, you know, because it's made in Korea. This is a Korean bag. So it's some um, genuine eel skin made in Korea. A lot of the eel skin bags come out of Korea. Um, so normally I don't like a double compartment bag. I like a single compartment bag, but exceptions are made. Did I mention it was $10? <laughs> it's like, when you have a good deal, you just have to go with it sometimes. And this is why I'm going to have to stop actually looking. Everybody says, Jackie, how do you find these deals? I'm like, because I spend out. My phone told me how many hours I spent on eBay. And I said, that can't be right. I couldn't, I cannot have spent 10 hours of my week on eBay. Like how many 2 a.m. shopping trips did I do? Um, yeah, if you look, you find that's the true Debs. I'm like, I have to stop looking because I'm out of space, but look how beautiful this is. Every time I see Autumn Beckman pull out her Lee Raswell, um, eel skin bag, I love it. But I know she spent like $700 for that bag. 10. Eel skin, just as gorgeous. And I picked this one specifically because there's no, hard, there's no hardware. Hardware is what gives away the inexpensiveness of a bag. Um, if you, because it's cheap hardware. It's a cheap bag. But it, the zippers are a good quality. Um, this is still, these are nylon zippers, but it does have a metal pull. Um, but this is eel skin. And this is beautiful. No one's going to... I mean, if you know it's eel skin, you know. You're not going to know the brand. You're not going to know... There's no branding on it. It's just made in Korea. It's a beautiful bag. And I... This might be my bag tomorrow. Instead of the... the Instead of the dome bag. Because this might fit the mood. You know? I like... Oh, yeah. I, I like the Lee Raswell bags. I don't like the Lee Raswell prices. Man, those bags are expensive. Um... So true. That's the first step to not buying. Stop browsing. Exactly. I gotta stop looking. I already watch enough influencers. Next time I go visit my family, gonna see all the different eel. Oh, <laughs> well, see, I don't want to. I love eating eel, but unless you okay, eel, I can find here where I live, like in the Asian markets, I can find eel. But um, my husband doesn't like fish on a good day. He barely eats eel and sushi, and I love eel. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm happy I opened that box. So we have one, we have two, um, see, similar shape. One's brownish, one's squarish. I, I like the same things over and over again. Someday someone's going to go through my stuff and be like, this woman kept buying the same damn bag every time. Um, Woohoo, welcome back. Oh, then I'll show you a, a bag I bought that was not your fault. <laughs> This is uh, my, my eel skin bag that I bought for $16.66 off eBay. And it came from Washington State. And I, she even gave me a discount code. 20% off two or more items. And it's Misty Meadows Treasures on eBay. So Misty from Meadows, Misty Meadows Treasures. Yeah, it sounds like a retirement home. Misty Meadows, because the shipper's name is not Misty or Meadows. <laughs> right? Great deal. I stole it. I know. I know. So, you know, this one was this one was 95, which I still feel like I stole, you know. This one was $10. The okay, the Disney Dooney is my Achilles heel and that was $270. Let's just not go there. Um and this one was $50. So I love all the bags. I love all the bags. I love them all. Um, I need to love more like this that are $10 and, and maybe $50 and maybe a few less of the $200 variety. Um, but, you know, what can you say? I feel like we've st stolen over half of the bags you've... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I would agree with you, Craig. And I think it's honestly the time of year. Um, basically the only bag purchase that was not Birkin Boy's fault was, yes, the $10 bag and the Disney bag. But a lot of my bags, a lot of my bags are because he sends, like, there's a, the bag, the Max Mara bag, Birkin Boy. Actually, all four of those bags 
are because of Craig. We we started talking about Ralph Lauren, and we've been talking about Ralph Lauren, I think, for like two and a half months now. And every time, like, I went to the Ralph Lauren outlet yesterday, um, because I live next to an outlet, and I said I need to go to the outlet. Hey, Melissa, um, I have your I have your package. It's right over there. I'm gonna open it in a minute. I was hoping you would show up. Um, so I really have uh, love how the four look behind you. Yes, right, Linda S. Those those four bags are so amazing. Um, but they're all Burke and Boy's fault. He knows he zeroes in on my taste, and he's like, "What about this? What about this? What about that?" I'm like, oh! and then he finds them in layers and levels I can afford. So now it's gone to the point our friendship because he's my enabler. I said. Only send me photos. Do not send me links. Because if you send me links, I'm going to cave, I'm going to crumble, and I'm going to go buy something. But if you show me photos, I can just admire them. <laughs> so, you need to go to Birkin Boys. Oh my god. Well, he invited me to Ban Island. I was on there with him for three weeks. But it was because of him showing me more and more bags that I, I crumbled. I crumbled like a cookie. <laughs> like a soft sugar cookie crumbling. Um ridiculousness um but so he's my um enabler best friend and then i have but then i have accountability partners <laughs> not mostly james when he when he told me oh um so i went to the outlet i won't tell you i went to the outlet and i went to the ralph lauren outlet here in san marcus texas like i live near san marcus texas about 30 minutes away and um that's where the outlet's is there's a Longchamp, there's Coach, there's Dooney, there's there's like Gucci, there's Prada, there's like everybody there. Autumn Beckman actually did a, a video vlog where she and I think Yoda was with her because Autumn used to vacation near where I live. Like not here, here, but like an hour, not even an hour. Because like, she used to live in Houston. Like I live nearby her uh, or used to live by her. Now she lives in Oregon. So anyhow, um, so... I went to the Ralph Lauren outlet. I haven't been there in five years because I used to go there all the time. My father always used to wear Ralph Lauren clothing because Ralph Lauren has a big and tall for men's. So they have a big and tall and an XB. The XB is large, but wide, but not long because large, not everybody who is larger is tall. Some people need tall and longer. Some people just need wider, not necessarily longer. So I can actually fit men's 2xl shirts so the men's 2 3xl shirts fit the best and especially the xb versions because i'm short i'm not i don't have i'm not a man i'm, I'm just a round woman right so the ralph lauren plus size clothing is still not i'm still too busty for it to be honest so i wear the men's clothing um um yeah yeah, D, yes, yes, San Marcos, Texas, that's true, I, I go, that is the, when I show pictures on my Facebook, on the groups, it's from the San, Mar the San Marcos outlet for the coach and for the Dooney, that's what, that's what it is, um, <laughs> Burger Boy, how will we see your new purchases, oh, Instagram, native Instagram, he does show things on Instagram, uh, but, so I went to the Ralph Lauren outlet to go look, and, I went to look. So I, I've been shopping pre-love discount stores for so long that I, I don't really go into actual stores, even outlet stores. I mean, unless it's Dooney and Coach. And I normally do that to just film. Uh, Birkin Boy says, true, my collection is rather large. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe we'll, he'll share more of his collection when he and Saya do a video together. Because I still have hope. I have hope. That would be... Oh, yeah. Uh, so, at oh, hey, Melissa. So, at the outlets, I went into the outlets, and I'm looking at the Ralph Lauren outlets. So there's a women's check a section, a baby section. There's a custom section now. You can customize embroidery right there in the shop. They have stuff from the Ralph Lauren branded cups and, you know, memor I don't know, things. There's everything you can buy in this store. So, I go in there. I'm looking at the big and tall section. I'm looking at the shoes. I'm looking at the handbags. I told my husband, I'm just going to go look. I, it will be quick. I just need to go take a look. There's two sweaters I really wanted to, to, to buy. One sweater was $150 and the other sweater was $200. So I looked at those sweaters. I really considered them. And then I left the store. I didn't buy anything. I said, James, you'll be so proud of me. I bought nothing. I feel so much better about my eBay purchase. And he goes, what? <laughs> so I had to go 
to Ralph Lauren to go look at the at the merchandise to realize that the sweater that I had been eyeing on eBay for like, I don't know, two months was worth the $80 I paid for it. Because when I went into store, the sweater was not even as nice, was uh, $150. And the other one was $200. And they're both beautiful sweaters. Knitwear, knitwear is one of those things I will shell out money for. This is me in a Disney t-shirt, guys. This t-shirt cost me $20. Most of my clothing is under $20. Most of my, I think the most expensive shirt I have maybe is $30. So for me to shell out $80 for a sweater, it was a lot for me. I mean, I'll buy an $80 bag in a heartbeat. But an $80 sweater? I'm like, oh, do I really? So I bought it. So I, um, Keith, oh, Craig has the best collection. I buy two thousand bags, two thousand dollars bag back. <laughs> He's top ten, ten bucks. Me too, me too, because clothing for me is just to cover the body, and I'm okay with polyester. I'm fine with it. It does not bother me. My sister might as well be allergic to polyester. I'm not. I'm okay with it. Um, this is cotton, but most of the time I'm in a polyester shirt. It doesn't bother me. But the polo sweater I purchased that's coming in the mail, and I'm sure I'll unbox it for y'all, is a hundred percent silk. Now, that I pay money for because most of the sweaters now are silk blends, cotton silk blends or viscose cotton silk blends. This one was a 100% silk except for embellishment, which means the polo pony is cotton and not silk, you know. Um, so I have one other silk sweater from La Ralph Lauren from the men's collection that I really love. So I'm okay, I'll buy it. I'm the same way. I'll spend a little on a, on clothes bags or wear it. It's me too. Clothing, Cami. You could wear a paper sack and look cute. <laughs> I well, Cammy, just if you live in New York, just wear black. That's what everybody else wears. I, I I met a lady from New York who came down to Texas, and she said everybody here wears colors. I'm like, well, yeah. What do you mean? Because I came from New York. Nobody wears color. Like really? It's like yeah. I have all my clothes are black and gray. I'm like really? I was so confused. <laughs> um. That's what I do. Show my husband pics of bags I don't buy. I didn't buy and tell him how much I saved. I've done that too, Monica. Um, thank you for following um, Montana Native. Not if you get them on sale. I don't want to ruin expensive. Me too. I don't want. I will ruin everything. And here's the thing. I went to work today in an office. This is what I wore. I don't have to wear professional looking suits and clothes. I can wear jeans and t-shirts. So I do. When I wear a nice dress, which is from Timu, which cost me $15, people think I'm fancy and dressing up. It's a $15 dress from Timu. And you know what? When I buy the dresses from Timu, I'm buying them from the traditional clothing section. Because they're meant for uh, essentially Muslim women, women. for their modesty dresses. That's all it is. They're shapeless. You know, it's the new Moo Moo. It's perfect for me. Fits me just fine. I love them. Great for the office. Everybody thinks I'm dressed up. I was called both, even though I wasn't. Uh-oh. Wait. I missed something. Uh, Cammie, by the way, what white sweater looked fabulous. Linda says, yes, Don Stones. I need to get on their outlet store section soon. Millie, thank you. That's sweet. Sounds like old me. Um, let's see. Just followed you, Birkin Boy. Cammy says, Birkin Boy, thank you. It was Macy's last X sweater. I think paid $19. Thank you so much. Melissa says, my weight is always fluctuating. It's not worth spending big, do big dollars. I mean, I watch... Um, um, oh, why can't I think of her name right now? Cassie Thorpe. And she just bought some beautiful Vivian Westwood tops i mean gorgeous and she's bought these shoes i'm like wow i'm happy somebody in this world can wear clothes like that it's not me um not that they make clothes like that for me they don't but i mean she has the figure for it and she buys it and it's some beautiful stuff um we used to be able to wear jeans every day when I first started my job. Then that ended. Now I have to always figure out what I know. It's the worst. My sister is a teacher and she can't wear jeans to school. I'm like, why can't you wear jeans to school? Uh, she can wear she can wear black leggings, but she can't wear blue jeans. I'm like, 
what role is that? You know, um, please everyone come follow me on Instagram and I'll post more often. Yes, Craig. Yes. Follow him. Like all his things. <laughs> we, we are a friendly, happy community. Yeah, we support each other. All the peoples. Um, well, isn't it Birkin Boy over there too? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Cammy, we've all told him this, and he might be doing something with Saya. We hope, which is frozen, frozen luxury. Um, hello, Bry. Just followed Birkin Boy. Yeah, woohoo! Way to go, Keith. I work in an office and can wear leggings, jeans, t-shirts. Very casual. That is awesome, Melissa. Um, yes, we do. And uh, didn't I hit follow you button? <laughs> Thank you, Keith. I love your content, Birkin boy. Thank you. Sometimes I feel like I'm too fair to wear cream. And really? Um, I think it's going to. I think I'm going to guest star on people's lives to start. Well, you know you're invited to mine, although I'm a horrible co-host. I over-talk. I talk too much. You know I can talk for three hours. I have a problem sharing airtime. Anxiety. It's anxiety. That's all it is. And the only reason I love... I mean, I love doing lives, guys. And I'm... I'm I had to teach college students. That will teach you how to talk to people nothing is <laughs> nobody is crueler than high than college students not even high school kids college students people who are paying to be there paying a lot of money to be there ignoring what you're saying <laughs> so you have to learn to be entertaining and interesting in the subject they may may they really are just getting because they have to take it they don't really care it's either undergrads you know they're like weird they're listening to this grad student talk about you know physio physiography they don't care so you have to find things to relate to everyday life that makes sense to them right so that's how i got comfortable talking in front of people and once you face the firing squad of college students who really don't give a crap um then it's like you can do anything <laughs> you know professionals whatever <laughs> they're easy um Awesome because I like it to have a few sweaters in that color. Um, I already told Jackie I would love to see you in. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. We we've all said this. Um, it's just a a step at a time, guys. A step at a time. You know, Dawn. It shows that you're not. Um, I have. I don't have Instagram account. Cami's closet. Why not? It's super simple. I only did it just because uh, so many people on YouTube says message me on Instagram because YouTube is bad. But there's no way to direct message. And that's really what people see. I think people use Instagram to, to direct message and to promote their YouTube and the YouTube to redirect people to Instagram to tell them to direct message them. <laughs> um beautiful steps thank you have just always been very private so it's a literally yes small steps we can do it um i'm not private i am open books it's central y'all know this um i don't even know what i don't know what snapchat is either um i have to ask my sister who's the high school teacher because she knows everything um it was very funny we were talking about um i'm not savvy enough for tiktok because i don't care to learn another platform i'll be honest i had training this week that's what my busy busy week was about native montana i'm very private too wouldn't have enough content to even bother oh no 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 see i don't know i have i have too many things so i probably always have content for something or other even if i don't buy new things i could still start just keep showing you things i already have i have hundreds of videos but what i understand is not people first of all don't go watch my early videos because man it, i've learned a lot since then but the equipment's better the lighting's better <laughs> my i'm better um you just get better as the more you do it the more practice it takes right um but we not a lot of people don't go watch older videos anyway so it's just bring stuff out redo repackage talk about i have new things added you know nothing's the same um <laughs> Cammy says my early videos were awful. <laughs> um, I thought my videos were good, and then I, as I 
kept doing it. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not, I haven't actually even been here a year yet. So I thought they were fine. But as I kept, as I keep making more and more videos, I can see how it can improve. It can get better. So I just keep making more. I never had Snapchat when I was a hype. I don't have TikTok. TikTok. Um, I know my, my, <laughs> know my limits to ignorant people. Oh my gosh. Uh, Bobby King, what do you do for a living to have a shopping addiction? Well, my shopping addiction. Oh, okay. We deleted Bobby's. Um, well, not that I'm going to, I work, I'm a state employee. I have a normal job, uh, but my shopping addiction is at Goodwill. You can have a shopping addiction anywhere. It doesn't have to be expensive. You can have it in your budget. I can still I can still shop like no one's business at the dollar store where each item is a dollar twenty five. Like I'll go in there with a ten dollar budget and I'll spend thirty minutes on that ten dollar budget. Like shopping addiction is a shopping addiction. Hmm. Um, I do. I did one video at like midnight once. <laughs> I think um, candy. What is Candy Sweet Love for Candy? I can't remember the name of her channel. Anyway, Candy does a lot of her videos and release them at, at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, my whole channel is hidden is hidden videos. <laughs> That's the main uh the main reason I don't want my own channel editing and all that. See, I don't edit the only time I edit is when I make a mistake and show my flash out my address for some reason. Cause while I would love to meet everybody, I don't necessarily want to have y'all show up on my doorstep un unannounced. Cause that would just be odd. You know, if we call first, that's different. I'll come over, have coffee. Um, I think that might be a little evasive to where I'm watching your older videos. <laughs> um, I don't, beautiful steps is bobby being a problem i don't know who you are all night <laughs> who are all my night house cammy i hope you realize my comment about your size was just a joke based on winnie's last video <laughs> winnie was funny on that last video man her last live was hilarious she was fighting mad and it was so funny i could not stop laughing um laughing i have awful lighting I have to film only when it's sunny outside. I watch videos at 4am. No, I was just asking. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, no. I work, I'm work. i just a public worker. I have an average state income. I am not wealthy at all. Um, I just have 25 years of shopping problems. Um, I've questions are just a little too personal. Yeah. I don't get insulted easily. I'm from New York. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no offense taken, guys. I'm, I'm cool, Bobby. You know, um, I'm cool. It's, it's a common question when you watch. Well, honestly, that's not unusual. A lot of people who watch YouTube, especially people with luxury channels or even just bag channels, they'll ask, "How do you afford that? How do you pay for that? What do you do for a living?" Like, I think everybody who's ever watched Mel and Melbourne's videos has asked that question. Um, but the thing is, everybody has a job. Everybody has a budget. You know, everybody works. And even if you're, if even if, okay, here's the thing. Even if you are um, a trust fund baby, your trust fund is working for you. So it's still work. <laughs> Guys, everybody works. Nothing is for free. <laughs> it might seem like it's free, but no, no, no. Nothing's free. Um, I've gotten asked, I think, on Insta, Kami, I get used to live in manhattan i have a set budget that i says within every month see now i need to do that i have a set budget i don't stay within it that's my problem is that i'll see a good deal and i y'all do not ever follow my example about money ever i have two mortgages i have debt the only good example I can give you is I work. I work a lot. I work two and three jobs. I'm not telling you I'm good with money. I don't have investments. I have a pension. I'm a state employee. You know, hopefully I'll live long enough to retire. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, Debs. I'm not. <laughs> Someone I grew up with used to leave nasty comments on my videos on. Oh, yeah, yeah. People will judge you for no matter what. My my, Hey, guys, my mother is my biggest critic. My mother does not like any of my bags. She thinks my hobby is ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, guys, 
there's nothing y'all can say. I know I'm fat. I know I'm short. I know I have health issues. I know I could save so much more money if I didn't do this. I know that. It's cool. <laughs> um, oh my God, I love San Marcos Atlas. I have I live 40 miles from Houston, so I don't get there very often. Yay, Jody. I, I live 40 miles from Houston on on the um, west side or the east side. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, my mother doesn't hate me. She, My mother loves me. She doesn't like me. There's a difference, right? She loves me because she's my mother. We just aren't friends. <laughs> I got alien feet, so that's not that's not a chance. I don't know how anybody on OnlyFans or whatever it's called makes any money um with any of that. But I mean I know how, but honestly, um I'm okay working two and three jobs. It's cool. I just keep everything private to myself. People ask me about things I either tell them or fake it's fake or they aren't into brands and tell them I'm not sure what brand my bag is. That's cool. That works. Um Montgomery, okay. Um, I live, um, I work in Austin. And people know that I've shared that. Uh, and I went to school and lived in San Antonio, and I live somewhere between that. Um, oh my God, it's a good business decision. OnlyFans is. <laughs> oh my God. I should do OnlyFans of my purse photos. I give those away for free. <laughs> I give every wait, I give everything away for free. It's okay. Um, no, I just had, so before I started my YouTube, I already had over 100 bags, well over 100 bags. And since I started YouTube, I now have over 200 bags. Yeah. I'm going to say, can we do a bag only fan? I know, right? I would, I would totally post in that, but I'm not good at the photos. You are a people pleaser. Uh, I don't know if I'm a people pleaser. I think I... I come across, um, well, I tend to be blunt and sometimes considered to, to be considered insensitive. I tend to be a little too pragmatic and I take things a little too directly and I don't understand satire, which is why it's funny that I, I, I can laugh at Winnie, but other people I don't get at all. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> um... Are you, I don't know. I have no idea if I'm a people pleaser. I like people to be happy, but I don't necessarily care if I please them or not. When I started YouTube, I had about seven bags. Four were for luxury, and now I've lost count. That's, that's, yeah, I think you've lost count. I've lost count, too. Uh, I'm not subscribing to your OnlyFans site. <laughs> <laughs> Only 200. I know, Melissa. Y'all, y'all. Dee Bean has more bags than I do now. I promise. Because as many as I have brought in, I have I have probably let go of 30 this past year. And I'm getting ready to send out a few more. Um, I just, I'm kind of over the selling them. Because it just hurts my feelings when people don't want them. So I think I'd just rather just give them away. <laughs> people don't rarely say no to a gift. You know. Brick boy, I'm a bitch. Which is one reason I tend to say private because I don't like defense. Yes, always. Yeah. I'm convinced myself I'm doing um bag ban while buying a bag. Oh, oh, oh. Brenda, I do that all the time. I lie to myself all the time. I tell myself, I was telling myself, Jackie, if I buy this next, if I buy another Ricky and the deals that I got for those two Rickies are not around. Like there's one I want like for six hundred dollars. I'm like, I will not buy another bag for four months and I'm like Jackie you know you're lying to yourself you know you're lying to yourself <laughs> so I'm like I can't do it I can't do it I'm just going to enjoy the bags I have because in order for us to make our vacation goals because James wants these vacations I cannot keep buying bags I would personally on my own just keep buying bags I'm cool with that I'll stay home I don't have to go anywhere I don't care about going to Disney World he does um I don't even care about going on the boat I mean I like vacations, but I like staying home. Um, so it's like, like, what am I doing on a Friday night? I'm at home talking to y'all. It's like, this is what I do Mondays and Fridays. And then in between that, I'm filming videos. Like I don't go see people. <laughs> it's like, there are people out there. I like these people. I like my lovely internet people. Thank you, people. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, what is spam comment commenting? 
Um, I'm big people pleaser, but man, you piss me off and you'll see. Yeah, yep, yep. YouTube once told me I was a spam commenting. <laughs> lose my, what? Lose my channel if I keep it up? If you were, what's the, what the heck is spam commenting? And Melissa Adams, I'm not a poker face. I'm totally, tra oh, me too. I can't lie worth a dang. You know how I feel by looking at me. You don't have to. There's no, there's no hiding it. Um, my feed comment was a spam. Oh, that's what they consider a spam comment? YouTube is really stupid. Sorry. Yeah, I agree. Um, I have no idea what I did to spam. Yeah, no, I don't get it either. Um, hey, Kim. Oh, we have all the topics. I've already shown like three bags, but I have more bags to open. And normally I would do like an individual unboxing for each box and show everybody and film it. But that's like 10 minutes per video. And I have a pile and I can just show them on my live, show it to y'all. And I'll just do a video later. It won't matter. I don't do, un you don't get the same reaction again, but you know, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to do like, oh, it's brand new. I was like, hey, I bought this. You know, it's different. Um. <laughs> my feet keeps freezing. Yeah, Zena, I don't know why. Um, I think it's because of where I'm at. There's storms in my area. So it's probably me as the host. I still say it, Jackie shouldn't have made me a moderator because I think I curse more than anyone else. That's true. That's true. Um, but you're you're good about it. <laughs> oh, oh Don. Oh Don. There's like six boxes over there. Oh, yeah. I have more boxes to unbox. I really do. I just haven't been able to do it. Um, yeah. Um, let's open this one. This one is coming from California. I keep telling y'all. I keep buying bags out of California. Um... <laughs> I have to cut the curse words out of my vids. <laughs> oh. Mr. Watson. No, there are no treats. He is desperately missing grandma. Grandma gives him so many treats that he's he thinks he's starving. I'm sure he does. You know, because we do not give him the, the amount of treats or attention grandma does. Pugs are excellent at begging. Those big liquid brown eyes, they just like, but I'm starving. I'm starving. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. There's no treats over here. Um, I think I lost count. I lost a sub because I dropped the F bomb on Well, I'm sure. You know. I would get kicked out of YouTube in less than a week. <laughs> he's adorable. I just want to reach to do the impact. I know he's so cute. He's so very cute. Oh. Oh. Pure joy. Pure joy. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's my favorite favorite brand. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This. I can't believe I got this. This bag has been sitting here for over a week. I just haven't been able to open it. Um. He's looking good, Jackie. Yeah, he's lost. I swear he's lost a pound, at least a pound or two since Grandma's been at, in the hospital these last two weeks. Um, and one pound on a little Watson is a lot of weight. So he should be under 20 pounds. And the last time we weighed him, he was 21 pounds. But I think he's lost that now. Um, he only gives a quarter cup of food a day, twice a day. So half a cup of food a day. But then all the snacks Grandma gives. Um, of Oh, look at the look at face, cutie. Um, oh, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Uh, oh, peekapoo, that's so nice. Look at this bag. Oh my god, I'm so predictable. But look at this bag. Look at the colors on this bag. Um, that's the real deal. In my house, we curse like truck drivers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he does, because he knows. He knows his name. Um, he's like, fine, fine. Um, is this? Yes! Um, yeah, I know. I know, right? Look at this bag! Look, look! 
wait until I tell you how much I paid for this. I still can't believe they sold it to me. I have no idea how I was so lucky to get this bag, guys. I mean, Star Wars, there's Yoda on here, guys. Yoda and R2. And I mean, these are the like hardcore, hardcore. <laughs> the colors. Um, nylon zipper. Um, I was figuring, okay, well, maybe it did. And look, it still has the strap. A lot of times to get this bag at the price I got it, normally it will have like, and look at the inside. Look at that color. Now, I, I realize that the color saturation isn't quite coming across the same way, at least on my monitor, but this is a lime green. Um, I'm going to stick. Stick some. Fluff this up. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Fluff, fluff. And this is substantial. This is my... You know I keep telling you I love dome bags? Um, Achilles heel, guys. Gee, I cannot... I can't tell you how many zip zip satchels I have. I love zip zip satchels. No way. Jolie, really? You almost... Just kidding. Okay. Yeah, this is Yoda. There's Yoda right here and Darth Vader and C-3PO, R2, uh, a regular Stormtrooper. This is um, Chewbacca. Yeah, and it's an amazing condition. Like, again, I think people go on vacation and they buy these bags so they're in the moment because you get them normally at Disney. And it's like a $300 bag, guys. Um, and they buy it and they're like, they never use it again. Because now they're home, and wherever their home is, they're not going to be walking around with Disney, you know, merch. Me? I, I wear Disney merch to work. You know, Disney is on my phone. I have Mickey right here. Mickey's hanging out on my phone. I have Mickey on my watch. You know, Mickey and I are friends. Um, so let me find out how much I paid for this, because even I can't believe I could buy this for this, this much money, or that they were willing to sell this to me for this much money. I was like, uh, what? Okay. Um, yes, I'll buy that. And I was like, I won't win that bid. You know, somebody will buy this. I'll never get that bag. I got the bag. Um, $115. This is a $300 bag. I love the interior. Yes, right? Um, wait, what? Are you a Star Wars fan, Craig? Let me see. Dawn's Donuts, Jackie, you do carry these bags to work. Oh, yeah, I totally do. These bags that you just part. Um, oh, no, I carry the bags, and I carry them to work. Oh, my gosh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. Well, these, well, of course, Star Wars ones, they know what they are. Um, back when I was new, I considered Ed scooted for a while. Girl, bye. I love that interior and glazing. I need that. I know, right? Can't wait for the Mandalorian movie. Yes, I know. I love the Mandalorian. If Dooney did Harry Potter, I'd get into trouble. Oh, oh yeah? Okay, the Harry Potter franchising, the Wizarding Coast or whoever does it, they do horrible quality. Um, good night, all. Good night, Cammie. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, you're really a Star Wars fan? Well, sir, this is this is awesome. This bag is amazing. Um and 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 I could be convinced to part with it to give it to you because we're besties, guys. And this is awesome. I love Star Wars, but not like other people love Star Wars. Like the other Star Wars bag I got, I gave to my other friend because she also loves Star Wars. I think I might be a, a Star Wars curse. <laughs> Because this happens to me all the time. Every time I find an awesome Star Wars bag, I end up rehoming them. Yeah, this might come your way. Because I just bought it because I had to. It's called Bag Rescue. Bag Rescue. When you come across a deal like this, you just have to sometimes. Um, yeah, but before, is Melissa still on here? Melissa's um, closet? I have a package from her I wanted to open. No, you keep it. If you see another one, just send it to me so I can we can twin. You know how hard it is to find that bag, Burke and Boy? That, that it is seriously hard to find that bag. That's why when I saw it and I could get it for hundred dollars, I couldn't believe it. Um, um, yeah, I could not believe it. Oh well, you know, I do believe you'll find it. 
You're good. <laughs> so I won a giveaway from Melissa's Corner. And she um, sent me this in the mail. It just came. This is a taco. They call it a taco pouch from Portland Leather Goods. And it's in a melon. More of a melon color. So she did a live, I think two weeks ago. And they were giving away gifts if you got the... Oh, yay! Hey, Melissa! If you got the facts right well i got the facts right so i was able to on hers and she was she sent me this cool little taco pouch so i have this cool and i've always wanted one of these um actually as much as i disparage Port, portland leather goods there is a bag they make i want um and i will get it at some point i want the raindrop or the rainstorm um so anyway taco pouch oh jolie i didn't even think about that that's now I can't unthink that. <laughs> anyway, it's called the Taco Pouch and it's really cute and I really like it. And I thank you, Melissa, for sending it to me. Um I wanted one of those I have for a while. Um I just I know that once I start buying something from Portland Leather Goods, I'll just keep buying stuff and I don't really like their totes. So Jackie, I just adore you when you're unboxing. It's like watching it. I know. <laughs> I know. Believe me. I am aware that the endorphin high is true. That this addiction is this. This is why it's an addiction. Not only do I love bags. It doesn't matter if it's $10 or $20. It's the hunt, the find, the acquisition, the coming home to the boxes. It's opening them. And then I get to use them. I get to use them. You know, it's like I get to go hang out with, with people and have fun and use my bags and talk about these things i mean how, who who would not love that mm -hmm. oh it's true oh it's true it's it is an endorphin rush it is absolutely the truth i'm a star wars fan but not but my, my daughter is harry potter yeah i like both i like star wars but i like star trek more because it was i watched more of it because there was more of it and then i like star wars but i'm not i'm not part of i'm I'm not part of the Republic. I'm an, I'm part of the evil empire. I, I'm a rules follower. So I told James, like, I have a hard time because, because wouldn't you fight for the oppression of your... No, I says you're in a system and you're in a galaxy that's being ruled. Yeah, evil overlords, they're always evil overlords. It's called government, you know? And I work for the government, so shh. Um, yep, Christmas every day a package comes. I know it's an addiction. This is why I'm telling you I have a shopping addiction. Uh, you influenced me. <laughs> um, I'm Vader. You're Vader? Yes. Because I'm I'm part of the dark side. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the Republic. I'm not. I'm I think the Jedi. Okay, I know this is an unpopular opinion, and you can come for me if you have to. Jedi's are not the good guys. Just saying. It's a dynasty and a few people, few people with a lot of power, and it's a power struggle between the Jedi and the evil empire. And who is Dark Vader? Vader? A Jedi? You know, hello. I love Lord of the Rings too. I'm more Star Wars. Uh, we were just talking about this. We were just talking about J.K. Rowling because he she wrote Harry Potter and how amazing that whole franchises and how it got people to read again and, and I said look but if there was they're talking about how she makes like billions and millions I'm like I know but JK um Tolkien influenced everybody they influenced a lot of people if it wasn't for Tolkien there wouldn't have been other people writing like Robert Jordan who also wrote science fiction wrote a lot he was influenced by Tolkien but Tolkien wasn't this like wealthy writer in life you know his estate is now but not in life um oh my god jackie cancels herself with star wars i know i know i know i know <laughs> believe me i know <laughs> we i've had this conversation so many times with my real friends in real life like in person where people are like i can't talk to you <laughs> they're like they're like i can't talk to you and, and when it comes to harry potter I'm a Hufflepuff. Is anybody surprised? No. You know, no. Um, loyal to a fault here. Loyal to a fault. Um, oh, I can unbox some more. I have more stuff here. 
I really can. I can sit here and unbox all these boxes, and then I can get rid of the evidence, and I can put the bags away, and then I'll pretend like it never happened. <laughs> For Harry Potter books to the movie. Oh, yeah, the books always. The books are always better than the movie. Always. Um, Let's see. Let's make some space. Let's see what I have here. Where's my label? Again, this one comes out of Florida. What is it with me in Florida? Um, oils are always going to be superior. Um, you know, you can't see him, but my very cute pug is staring at me again. Just because all his treats come in plastic, he thinks everything plastic or box-like. Oh, how cool is this? Newspaper. When was the last time somebody actually bought a newspaper? Let's see what date this is from. Please tell me I'm not the only one who does this. The Village Daily Sun, January 12, 2004. Not 2004, 2024. Ugh, 2024. This is a recent paper. And wherever the Village's Daily Sun is located... This is the personal ad. What did I buy? Well, I know what I bought. I just, there's a lot of paper in here. Ah, uh, there's the invoice. Let's see. So learn, um, Night Dawn, um, Let's see. Good plan, Jackie. <laughs> Books. Uh, this came from eBay. And it came from the villages in Florida. So apparently the villages is the name of, of the city. And. Oh. This is one of those gamble. I saw something. I liked something. I bought something. Uh, total all in. All in budget was $72 with $54 uh, for the item, tax, shipping. The whole total was $72. And they wrote a note on here. It says, thank you very much um, to be doing some shopping for local. Oh, my God. I'll be doing some shopping for the, our local food pantry um, from Eve. That's awesome. You know how many people I've, I've bought things from that are selling things to raise money. So it makes me feel even better about my purchase. Um, Slytherin, the villages. Yes. In, in, in Florida. Um, they're, oh, really? Well, oh, well, I can believe that. Jackie getting it done, unboxing all the bags. I, yeah, I'm just going to back. I'm just going to box them. And then I can get rid of this mountain of paper and, and, and boxes. And then I can pretend I'm a regular human being. And when James sees the pile of boxes, he doesn't give me the look of, how are we going to afford vacation, Jackie? You know, and where are you going to put another bag? Because I don't know. Um, dun, dun, dun. It's black. I know. They're like, you can't just have one black bag. And you're like, what is that bag? Why is that so important? Why would you buy that bag? <laughs> this is a doomy. And a retirement community. Nice. What? Well, that's why they had paper. A newspaper. Because they probably the only people that read. Oh. I cannot tell you how many times this has happened to me. This is probably the third time. One dollar. Jackie, thank you. Mom never gave me a purse without a dollar in it. She sent me a dollar. That is amazing. That is so cool. I'm going to write her a thank you note. I need to find that. Um, so this is a small shoulder satchel because Dooney is just that clever with names. But look at this. This is part of their Alto collection, guys. This is part of their Made in Italy collection. This is normally a several hundred dollar bag. Several hundred dollar bag that I got for 70, 75. I'm trying to show you the interior, but it's not cooperating. Um, 
So it's it has a lining, but the ends, if you can see on this side, is leather. That's the interior of the leather. So that's kind of like the hallmark of the um, Alto line is I'll show the exposed underside of the suede. Um, this is a black with a brown red trim. Um, and it doesn't have the hang tag, which is fine. Um, and the hang tag normally would have hung right here. It's fine. Who cares? Um, I don't care. It's a beautiful black bag. It needs a little bit of a polish and a little bit of a buffing. And this will look brand new. This is a beautiful... How many purses you may <laughs> always have enough money? Many of your purses always have enough money. That's... Um, you know it's true, though? I'm going to keep this in here. And I'm going to put the invoice in here because I'm going to see if I can write her a thank you note because that's very um, nice that she sent me this. And... I, I know the value of this bag. Now, she was selling it for $50. I was not the only person who could have bought it. Anybody could have bought it. But I know that this bag's several hundred dollars. And I and I got it for $50. You know? And it's a beautiful bag. And I, and I love this bag. This is just... This is gorgeous. Again, you can... F it's, it's hard to explain through visual what this feels like. But... If you have good thick leather, you know what I'm talking about. You can't substitute um, other leather for this. It's just the way it is. So apparently, I think this might have had, huh? This might have had another tag over here. You see this D, this little thing here. But it's so hard to find anything about Dooney bags. Here's the bottom feet. Um, they don't publish anything, and it's just called a satchel. You know, I love it. She actually put a dollar in it. Um, I have had a wallet come with a dollar in it. This came with a dollar intentionally. I had another bag come in with a, a dollar, um, a half dollar silver piece. Um, I've had commemorative people have thrown like commemorative quarters in my bags. Um, hey, Winnie. Um, people have, I mean, I try to buy from people that aren't businesses and it shows, right? Um, it just shows. So this is this one of those beautiful bags. It's another, another back, another black bag for my collection. Oh my gosh, black bags are so easy to collect. Um, hey, locational. Um, Winnie. Hey, everybody. Winnie. Um, we're trying to get Craig and Saya to be, you know do videos together so i keep fresh i'm i might have text saya today <laughs> it's like are you gonna do a video with craig <laughs> but okay so i'm opening all my boxes so i can feel like a normal human being and not have a pile and not have a pile of boxes that you can't see over here um it's embarrassing i don't want to look at this anymore i want to not admit that i have a shopping problem and pretend it doesn't exist. And I don't want my husband to look at me again. And like, Jackie, that's a lot of boxes. You know. Um, so we're getting, we're getting to the bottom. We're getting to the bottom. This is from Florida. This is from Kissimmee. I'm telling you, three or four of these boxes are out of Florida. <laughs> eBay. It's like, I swear, everybody in Florida has something on sale. And I keep buying it. So I've been to Kissimmee, because it's really near Orlando. I've driven through it, anyway. Uh, get Winnie, I want to be a guest star. Oh my gosh, Craig, you and Winnie. Oh my god. Yeah. Jolie, Linda, Craig. I think you hi to all the peoples. <laughs> um, yeah, kissing me. Yeah, it's kissing me. Kissing me, Florida. Yeah. Wait a minute, am I saying it wrong? Is there some weird Floridian colloquialism that I have I don't know about? He keeps doing that because he keeps because he keeps thinking I have treats. I don't have treats. I don't know. See, I'm trying to open all the boxes so I can pretend I'm not crazy and hide all the evidence because even I find this to be a, a monumentally embarrassing the amount of stuff I have purchased. But James, look. 
It has droids. It has the perfect droids. This has a Disney bag. The big dog is really jealous, by the way. Everybody says hello. I think they are. No, it's Kasumi. Kos oh, Kasumi. Wait, really? But it's spelled K-I-S-S. I-M-M-E-E. -E. But it's, it's pronounced Kasumi. I feel like some weird... This is, this is like... This is like that weird place that you moved to, Jolie, that I can't pronounce either. Sasimi. I don't I don't know. No, I didn't do it right. No kiss kiss me. <laughs> this is okay, so we have a county here in Texas called Bear. Uh, but it's spelled B-E-X-A-R. So a lot of people say Bexar, but it's Bear. I keep okay. This, this, how many bags did she put this in? Oh yes, yeah. Okay, there's a theme. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a problem. You know how James wants to go to Disney World. I apparently just want Disney World merchandise. <laughs> I don't. I actually care about going to the amusement park, but I want all the stuff. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I know, right? I know. How could I not get this bag? It's mini. It's a dooney. It's in denim. It's blue. <laughs> Jackie, I'm not your chemist. I'm not doing Winnie. Dude, don't don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not doing well either. <laughs> I, if we need an accountability partner, I think we need it. And, and we would have to enlist Melissa, but then we would probably drive her to drink because we would be so bad at it <laughs> it's their 10 year 10th box it, yeah yeah i'm i don't know what box i'm am i actually on box 10 it could be um i know right i know i know <laughs> no es un buena amiga you find the cutest i look hard Oh, chicken loving more. I look hard and I look constantly. And again, it's a time of year. January people will purge out their closet because they're making space for things they got for Christmas. I bought this bag for $60. I know. But overall, I mean, do the math. Don't do the math. Don't count. Don't tell me. I don't. I, James knows. <laughs> James knows. So all in cost $80. Um, but this bag is epic. Epic. <laughs> Look at the inside. <laughs> yeah, right. I know, right? Oh my goodness. This is this is this is um This is in great condition. Like this is like a a velvet kind of a flocked on top of a textile. I believe you. I like the pink Dooney mini. You should. Yes. And this is the mini. Um, I, I love. I love these bags. I love these bags so much. It is. It is ridiculous. Um, it has a cool Dooney. Great shoulder. It, like. Believe me. When I tell you. I love me some LV. But I've never reacted to LV the way I react to these bags. <laughs> kind of giving LV uh, Steven Sprouse size. Yeah, I would agree with that. It does. That graffiti look. It probably came out around the same time, to be honest. Um, yeah, I know, right? This beautiful this beautiful interior reminds me of the LV graffiti looking bag. Yeah, it, it's beautiful. I mean, this is like somebody's in somebody's closet. They didn't use it again. Probably. And you know what? I swear. It's from Florida. You know? Florida has like the best stuff. 
It's local to them, so they don't care. So this box is just empty. It was just hanging out over here. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm down to the last three boxes, guys. Just move this out of the way. Oh, the mess. The mess. This. <sighs> Subscribe to Chicken Love. Wait a minute. There's a Stephen Prowse ish. Subscribe to Chicken Love. It is it? It is Winnie. Thank you, Jolie. Okay. I didn't do I I don't know if I have following you or not. Oh, there's there's two more boxes and then we're done. And then I have two books I got from Amazon. So we're we're about done. <laughs> um this came from this one came from Hawaii. I'm getting chickens one day. Oh, really, Jolie? Which okay, what breed of chickens? I just want to know. I love chickens. Hopefully, by next time I go see you, like in September, you'll have chickens because I love chickens. I wanted chickens. Then we moved to an HOA. It won't let me have chickens. You yeah. know. Birds are messy, I know. Oh, really? The silkies? Yeah, but those are not the best for laying. The bantams, all right? The bantams are the good laying hens. We have some people around here. There's a whole chicken community out here, guys. Yes, they are so adorable. I'm scared, though, when they peck, it hurts. Ooh. Um, I like my ravens. You have raven. Are ra is ravens a chicken breed or ravens the bird bird? Too much. Oh, yeah, true. Birds, birds are messy. Birds are messy. No, so they're just cute. They're useless. Yeah, but they're cute. I know. Um, okay, this has a um, mahalo. So I have a, a, a bag from Hawaii, and they sent me a really cute note. All the shipping material. I actually have three bags I have to ship out tomorrow. Sometimes the bird, the bird. We talk. Really, you have a raven as a as as a domesticated bird. I didn't know they could do that. It's not putting chickens in the house. You yeah, freaks. Oh no, you don't put chickens. You build them their own house. You put them in your house. You build them a house and you fence it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Remember when I told you I have a love-hate relationship with Coach? This is the love part, not the hate part. Keeps three chickens in the house. <laughs> um, don't judge me. It's a black on black. I know. I go from only owning two black bags to I think now I have ten. This is it's a problem. It is a problem. So I bought this from a Facebook group friend. Um, she I asked if anybody had a beat up Birkin or beat up not Birkin a beat up Rogue, and for some reason this qualified. And I'm like, Are you sure? They sold me this bag, guys, for $150 of shipping. And you know what's beat up on this bag? You see that? This is the problem with the rogue. This is a classic rogue problem. This is one of the earlier rogues. You see how this piping is torn here? It's not torn for any other reason other than it was stored like that. It was stored with the handles splayed out. Um, and so that causes friction and it causes damage to the piping. This is a big flaw in how this is the regular. And it is a 1941. Yes, it is a 1941 Rogues. This is like the first gens. Um, yes, and she sold it to me for $150 um, because of the flaws. People who, I think this does not have the full set. It doesn't have, let me look. 
before I say any of that, yeah. So there's a whole rabid group of people who, um, yeah, this doesn't have the tag or the clochette. Uh, so it doesn't have the 1941 hang tag. It doesn't have the clochette. It, um, it does have the straps, which is amazing because a lot of the times for a bag this price would not have the straps. Um, yes, I know, Bri. Isn't it amazing? So I asked, and, and this is in the Coach Gone Rogue Facebook group. And I said, does anybody have a beat up rogue for sale? And I bought this one for $150 um, at the beginning of the month when I got paid. And then my budget was done, right? And then I kept buying stuff. So yeah, that's that's a problem. But um, I wanted another rogue. I wasn't particularly looking for a black one because I have enough black bags. Like literally, I have one right right there at my feet. And I and look, I bought another one. Like I have no shortage of black bags. But the rogue is my favorite. Is my favorite. So you see. No, you don't need the Beechwood. Oh, no, Birkin Boy. I was already going to plan on sending it to you anyway. So, um, um, with Python anymore so you can work out the logistics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was really going to send you that one. Um, the rogues. Yeah, the rogues are amazing. But they're so expensive. I can't afford them. So, I asked for people, do you have a beat-up rogue? So, people who buy rogues don't want them with damage. They don't want, they want them with the full set. They want the dust bag. They want the 1941 dust bag. They want the key clochette. They want the, the um, hang tag. I could care less. I want the bag. Like, the things I put in the bag. I want the bag with the straps. Now, not having the straps is a problem. So, I do want the straps because I wear these as my shoulder. Um... We can just call it trade since I'm sending you a bag too. That works for me. Um, yeah, Craig's sending me a bag. I'll sending him a bag. So we're just swapping bags, guys. We're having a good time. And he's not sure if he wants um, a rogue again. And I have another rogue. Um, so basically, we're just going to share bags. <laughs> it's, it's like, and when you get tired of it, you can just send it back or else, you know, if you don't get tired of it, keep it. That's cool. I want you, I want, I love people to use bags. Um, so I, as I told you, I'm already mailing out like three bags tomorrow and not a one of them is for sale. I'm giving them away. Um, I'm trading, I'm giving one to Chris and I'm trading one with a, with a, with a friend in Canada. And then I'm sending, probably sending one to, to, to um, Craig. Because uh, he wants to see if he wants to buy the rogues again. Um, I'm not, yeah, I don't think, I think this one might be too small. But if you use it, and then you'll, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. I'll, I sent you a pic of the old Poshmark and rogue that I sold. Oh, yeah. Um, I want a rogue, just not sure what size. So for me, anything under the original rogue, which is the 30, 31, whatever they call it, is too small. The 20, but many, 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 many people think that the rogue, the original rogue is too heavy. I don't because I don't load my bags up. It could be a giant bag. It's the same four things. Um, the same things I take in all my bags. It's the same amount. Um, okay. We have... Just two more boxes, and then we'll be done with this epic, epic unboxing. Did I plan on this? No! I'm just tired of looking at all these boxes. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I used Birkin 25 and the Kelly 28, so I can't figure out what... Maybe you just got tired of them, but I'll send it to you, and then you can figure it out. Um, original Rogue is fine for me. Yeah. But there's a lot of people who don't. But then, for me, the 25 is just too small. And I'm not buying any more um, Coach Collab bags anymore because I'm too mad at them. That's the, the hate part of my Coach endeavors. So, let's see. This also came out of... This came out of Wisconsin. Let's see what did I buy from Wisconsin. And... This came from, I think, that other box from this box. Oh... Remember when I said, don't judge me? <laughs> don't judge me. This is so embarrassing. 
Oh, this is embarrassing. But Jackie, what are you doing? Is that another black rogue? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Why this one? They only made this for like one season. I love this bag. <laughs> Lynn is like, I'm judging you. Don't know why, but I'm still judging you. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Um, so this is um this is one of the I think this is a 1941 also. No, this one might not be. No. Yes. Yes, this is. This is a 1941 rogue. Yeah. So this one's hard to find. This one's really hard to find. Um Yes, it's the shoulder rogue. And it's a 25. I know. Isn't the shoulder? I know. I know. It's almost too small for me. But I had to have it because I love, this is my favorite rogue. The shoulder rogue that they only made for one season, as far as I know. Um, so it doesn't have the handles. It just has the straps. And for some reason, it wasn't popular. I don't know why. I love this bag. I think I my very, very, very first rogue is the shoulder rogue in my bedroom. I haven't shown y'all. I've had it for a couple years now. And I... It started my rogue journey. And if I could pick a rogue, they would never have the top handles. I love this. And you know I love top handles. But I find that the top handles can be a little too heavy. Um, same Craig, same. Let's see. Another black. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Isn't Yes, it is a 25. Um, <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I know, Craig. Believe me. Uh, did you not see the title of this, this lie that said Shopaholic? Confessions of a Shopaholic? I mean, there is a reason. Hey, Vivian! Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have an addiction. And I knew. I knew as soon as I started down the stupid black bags, it, this, would, this, would, this would be it. It would just be down, it'd be down the tunnel of black bags. And here I am. I have three black bags today. Two of them are rogues. And let me tell you about this bag, though. I like this. I really, what I want is, so this is one of the first generations that you can tell because it has the leather. And this is why these were so heavy, too. These are leather lined. The newer rogues all are um, a synthetic leather, a micro, what do you call it? A micro, micro suede fabric. Um, thank you. Yeah, there's an addiction, but then there is indulging too much. And I think I'm in that land of I'm taking it too far. Um, and I did it all within 10 days. It's not, yes, these things have been in my cart forever, but so I think this one, yeah, this one doesn't have the tag. Well, it does have the tag. The tag's right here. It doesn't, I don't know if this one had a key cliche. Maybe this one just had the, um, Anyway, this is one of my favorite bags. Uh, the size is small, but it doesn't matter because I I put the same four things in them. So I love the C straps. I like I I don't know why they stopped making this bag. This is one of I think the prettiest bags they make. And I would have bought this in any color. I have this in brown or not brown, gray in the other room, and now I have black. If it if I could find this in blue, I'd be like on cloud nine. I'm already on cloud nine. So there is actually one more box over there. And as much as I want to just enjoy this, I'm gonna go open the other box. So this one does it's cool though that this one does has this this um this stupid horse. Um See, so this one says 1941. So what they did after they discontinued this line of products, they're coming out again with these horse, these metal horse tags, but they're not having the 1941 on here. So it um, <clears throat> keeps the line separate. But still, I'm not sure if I'm more addicted to bags or SLGs. <laughs> Oops, maybe I shouldn't. Your, sh your shopping addiction... Let me tell you, I'm not sure. Okay. <clears throat> Do it. Okay, there's one more box. And then I'm going to be done. And I have to clean up this ridiculous mess. Ridiculous mess. 
Uh, and I have to ship out some boxes or bags because I have absolutely no more space. And what do I keep doing? Buying large bags. I can't even get to it. There's so many bags in the way. So to recap, we have this one. We have this one. We have my guilt bag. I should not have bought this one. This is the only one I'm actually guilty over. I feel guilty about. The rest I don't feel guilty about. Mm -hmm. I have Bag Mountain. This is what I have. But okay. last box. Not very heavy. I can throw it in the air. Um, let me know if you're trading anything. That blue one. I know. That blue one. I know. Um, I actually normally trade things all the time, but here's the thing. People want to trade things I want to keep. <laughs> so the things I actually want to trade, they're like, yeah, I don't want that one. You know? So last unboxing for Jackie's shopping addiction. Oh, that is the biggest. This is the biggest box ever for... Oh, I remember you. <laughs> this is a real, real purchase. This is Craig's fault. You can't snuggle up with money. You can't, you can't with bags money causes. Right? <laughs> Money's dirty too. Um, new channel name, Jackie's Shopping Addiction. I know, right? This is a bag. Um, yes, this is the bag that, 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 um, yeah, that Craig said buy it. Um, oh yeah, he's he he okay. He sends me tons and tons of, of things, but he doesn't actually know how many I purchase, right? And I don't normally share them all at once. Like this is an entire month's worth of videos I just share with y'all, and they'll you'll probably see these again. But that's okay. Um, not everybody watches two hour lives. Sometimes they'll they'll people who watch the lives don't always watch the videos and vice versa. So. This is, um, yeah. Another black bag. <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. There's some wear on the corners. This is a very soft, gorgeous bag. Wow. I don't even remember which platform it's the the um this is a can I read the label? It's so dark. Ralph Lauren collection made in Italy. And he told me, Jackie, you have to buy this. And I said, Okay, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. And let me let me see if I can figure out which platform I bought this on because I don't remember. Um, he just sent me that this bag one day. He says, Jackie, you have to have this. And I'm like, okay. I, I agree with you. And I bought it. And it was what platform? No, this had to be oh, so that um that coach rogue I got with us with the cease the gold and black one that was it was $155. It was expensive, but not for what it was, not in my opinion. Um, I think I got this off Poshmark. Was this Poshmark? I think this might have been Poshmark. Let me take a look. Um, my orders. Where's my orders? My purchases. Where did I buy this? Oh, the real. Oh, I did. Oh, I did buy that off the real real. You're right. Um, see. I don't buy very many things off the real real. I've sold things on the real real. And after my selling experience, I said I'll never sell anything else on the real real. But if somebody else wants to sell on, on the real real, I'm cool with it. Um, let me go back to no no. I just need to go to where's my account? See, I don't even know how to use their platform. I don't shop the real real. I know like Autumn Beckman is like totally all about the real real. My purchases, this bag from the real real. Full details. I bought February 3rd. Mm, really? So I'm not I'm I'm not up on the lingo, but original price for this was 165. 
but I got it for a 60% off promotion. So I ended up paying $87 total for this with tax and shipping. This is $87. This is, it looks, it might look blue because it's a faded black. Cause when black fades, it throws blue, but it's actually black. It needs, um, it needs some leather moisturizer. So if you see here, see how it looks a little worn in. Um, that was some of the wear. So yeah, this was, this is a Ralph Lauren lamb. I'm pretty sure this is lamb. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren from Italy. This is the part of their higher end collection. So it is just, it's just a handbag. It's not a shoulder bag. It's not, um, it doesn't have anything. There's no way to make it a shoulder bag. It's just a black void. It's one compartment. It's suede lined. Suede lined, not not suede material. That's lined with suede, um, leather, and oh, look at this! This is the real, real tag. So, yeah, this bag is this um, Craig, another beautiful bag. Thank you. Um, yes, it does. It's, it's just a very beautiful bag. I I have a thing for East West bags and handbags and. Do this, I just, oh, what? I just showed you like five black bags today. What is happening to me? The, me of all the blue bags. There's some scuffing here. It's, this is a very soft leather. Very soft. Um, um, I might dye it, but I don't think I'll need to as soon as I buff it, honestly. with um, This looks like it's just never been moisturized. That's I can feel it more than anything. Um, yeah, it's a black label. From 27. Oh, that is black label. It retails for $2,700 that I got for $100. Well, look at this gorgeous Ralph Lauren bag <laughs> that I got for $100 from the Real Real. <laughs> no, I'm not going to dye it. I think as soon as I just moisturize it, it will bounce back. It's just it's just dry. It's a super soft. This feels like again, it feels like lamb. It could be goat. I don't know, but it's soft or calf. Any of the more delicate friends. Um, but the inside is beautiful. It's a suede. It, it really truly has just not been. Um, people buy very expensive bags, and they really don't know how to take care of them once they get worn in. And they just buy more bags. Because if you have enough money to spend $2,700 on a bag, you probably just went and bought a new bag. You know, you didn't... I, I do not have $2,700 to buy a bag. Don't count all the bags I own. Because then you'll be saying, well, Jackie, of course you could have if you didn't buy all these. This is my mother. This is my mother talking. My mother would say, Jackie, if you stop buying all the little bags, you could buy a really nice adult bag. Like a pretty Louis from, you know, the store. And I'm like, Mom, but I like these. <laughs> I like variety. I like having five different or ten different black bags that are all different. Two of them are rogues. But they're different rogues. One's a shoulder. One's not a shoulder. They're different sizes. It, it happens. The quilting part is lamb and the trim is calf. That makes sense because they feel different. Yeah. Yeah, this is lamb and this is calf. Okay. Another gorgeous bag. See, you know, Craig, you never steer me wrong. Very few things has he, he texted me and he says, Jackie, you must buy this. This is one of the very few things. This is one of them. He didn't even do that for the Ricky. For this one, he says, Jackie, you have to buy this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> says, I'll buy it. Um, so anyway, that's my um, 10 bag haul. And let's not count the dollars. It's embarrassing. Y'all know I have two mortgages. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Um, so for the next 20 years, as I'm paying off those two mortgages, I can just remember I bought bags. You know? But here's the thing. The next 20 years, I'll still have the bags. At least some of them. Maybe not all of them, but I'll have some of them. Um, chocolate bar Chanel. Oh, that's cool. You know? I am not a huge Chanel fan. I like Chanel perfume. I like Chanel some of their makeup. I like... Um, the look of Chanel, but I've never been a huge Chanel leather fan. Um, I like their tweed. 
I don't have it. Like here again, I am a plus size person. I've always been a plus size person since I was age of 10. So none of these designer homes can make clothes for plus size people. So I don't have any of it. So for me, it was what I found at the cosmetic counter. But this is a bit, there's a little bit of fading right here. Honestly, still, it just needs moisture. This really, one application of a good moisturizer on the skin, and it will bounce back like it was never, ever a problem. Now, some of the friction on the corners, that you can't change. There's a little bit of a pop stitch right there. That can't change. But that's so minor. These are just minor, minor, minor things. It's not going to prevent me from using it. It's not going to prevent me from loving it. And even if, even if I use it just the way it is, I'm happy with it. The deal was just too good. Yeah, it was. I can tell you all of these bags are less than one Ricky at retail. Yes, that's true. That's true. Even my two Rickies. Both of my Rickies right there are cheaper than what I spent on one Speedy. And I spent, I actually spent dollars. Like I didn't trade. I bought that Speedy for over a thousand dollars. And that was used. That bag was made for four seasons from 2012 to 2014. Yay! I love your product knowledge. This is why you and Saya had to talk because between his product knowledge and your product knowledge, it'd be like history lessons of, of, of knowledge. You know, I wish Dooney was better about sharing their information, sharing their knowledge about sharing. I mean, they just call things the satchel. I mean, they're all called the satchel. It's like, really? <laughs> It's like, you can't figure out when they were produced. Their codes are in, like, code. You don't know. At least with coach, there's some semblance of an idea. Um, but, anyway. I feel, I feel very spoiled. And even with all the bags I just unboxed and with all the bags I have purchased, <clears throat> I'd like to remind you that my husband bought a drone. I didn't. I bought a lot of bags. <laughs> he bought a drone. And I promise you, in a year, he'll have to buy another one. And they'll still be more expensive. And I'll still have the bags. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like, guys, it's just, I nickel and dime myself to death. I buy lots of small things. I buy, like, $100 bag here, $200 bag there, $10 bag. Like, literally, my eel skin bag was $10. I will buy those bags. My husband likes tech. And tech's expensive. And he likes new tech. Nobody wants old tech. We all want new tech. Well, new tech becomes old tech. You know, so then you have to get the next edition of tech. Or there's a new instance of it. Or there's a new console. Or a new computer. Or a new something. And then the thing you spent two grand on is now just plastic and sitting as a doorstop. My $2,000 in bags are still going to be here. <laughs> and I have sold things, even at a loss, still made back some money where I can tell you a $2,000 laptop doesn't sell for much and the, when they're five years old. You can barely give them away. <laughs> so anyway, it's all about what we like, right? So everybody has their thing. My thing are handbags and I like handbags because they last a long time and um, I like rescuing bags. I like older bags. I like things that um, I can't just walk into a store and buy. They at one time I could have like if I go back in the way way by way back time machine I could um I could get this in 2014 but in 2014 what was I doing then where was I even working I was working in San Antonio yeah I could have bought it <laughs> yes the um yeah totally worth it totally worth it like my 40th birthday I bought a watch I still have the watch. How many bags do you normally take for a week? Okay, so I travel in a minivan. So luggage is not a problem. Now, in January 2025, we're flying because we're, we're flying to Fort Lauderdale and we're taking a cruise out of Fort Lauderdale, which means I have to pack with one carry-on. This might kill me. Normally, in a minivan, I'll take a, a one piece of luggage for the one night overstay on the, on the drive down to Florida. And then in Florida, I'll take a suitcase. And where we stay has washer and dryer. 
So I don't have to take a huge amount of anything. Um, I always end up, end up packing the wrong things anyway. And like the last time I went to Florida thinking it'd be too hot. Then it was too cold. And then I had to buy warmer clothes in Florida because they were having a cold spell. It's like, what, what, you know, it was in October, you know, and then um, I ended up having to buy another suitcase because I bought a lot of bags. So I bought, I got a suitcase. I was given a suitcase to put in bags. So what I'm saying is, a minivan's worth of things is what I travel with. Like we took pots and pans. We took an Instapot because um, we were staying at a whole week. We stayed at a, a resort that has a kitchen. And, and so, yeah, I mean, I, I even take my own bedding. This is why I travel badly. Because I, I, this is why I just like to stay home because I like all my things. I like my things, not their things, my things. My husband, my husband's like, Oh, well, we have a hotel. He can literally pack in a backpack or a messenger bag for a week. I'm like, dude, how? He'll wear the same pair of shoes. He's just packing underwear and socks and maybe one, t maybe two t-shirts and uh, one pair of pants. And he's, he's good for a week. I'm like, hell no. I know. I need a single, a new set of clothes per day and pajamas, at least two every two nights I have to change out to a different set of pajamas. So if it's a week, I need three sets of pajamas, five sets of clothes, and I still do laundry, and I need dresses and pants and five pairs of shoes. This is this is me. <laughs> Even if I take one bag, I will end up buying another bag. It's like, I don't, tr I travel like Meredith does, just not in, in the style of Meredith. <laughs> you know, I don't have the first class Emirates airline. I don't have the cool luggage she has. But I pack like she does. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. I pack to the amount of space I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. One bag for a weekend? No. I even have a bag for my hats. Because I take hats. <laughs> it's like, I would have to, to pack my, yeah. I pack my pillow. I used to pack my pillow everywhere I went. And my blanket. My pillow and my blanket, or I can't sleep. You know, I already have a hard enough time sleeping in um, hotel beds anyway. Oh, yeah. I am the worst traveler, guys. Like, I, I don't like flying. This is why, this is why I wanted to stay home. This is, this is why we have, this is why we were going to do RV. Because we had an RV. So I had bags for my RV. I had equipment for my RV. I had the right pots, the right pans. I had everything. I had like a $200 pan for my RV because it fit the RV. You know, I do things in a big way. We had this awesome RV. We had a new truck. We had all this stuff. And then, and then when his mom moved in because of her disability, we couldn't just leave. So then we had an RV we couldn't use. So I said, this is ridiculous. Just sell it. Um, so we sold the truck, sold the RV, downsized, bought a old van, our third engine. And we changed our plans from the RV life vacationing to going to um, a timeshare in Florida. Yes, I could not sleep either. I love to be at home. I love home. Home is the best place. Um, I love being home. No place. Exactly. Home is the best place. Home is awesome. Um, home is comfort. Home is your castle, your kingdom. My dogs are here. They're happy here. They get so much anxiety traveling. They hate traveling. Well, Mr. Watson loves traveling. He's a pug. He he loves all the attention. Mr. Milo thinks traveling is akin to like the next layer of hell. He hates traveling and he gets so much anxiety. Even though we have the minivan, all the seats are collapsed. We have this giant thick foam dog bed for him. He's as comfortable as, as doggily possible. He just does not want to be in a moving vehicle. And um, we've had to take him places. We keep trying to take him on trips. But I think he, because he's a, a senior dog and we got him as a senior too. That And he's a great name for those who don't know. Um, I just think that he never took car trips. And he always took car trips only to vets. So he doesn't have a good association with cars. Um, um, only travel if I have to. I'm coming in and out of that chat as I'm typing from my, fo from my phone. But I'm watching... That's so cool. Um, what's your first name? <laughs> Chicken Love and More. 
the older I get, the more I enjoy staying at my own home and doing staycations. Absolutely, Monica. Um, especially if people don't know you're on vacation. Like the best job schedule I ever had in my life was we worked four tens. So we worked Monday, Tuesday, took Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday. I could get all of my doctor's appointments done. I could, and I go to the doctor all the time. I'm not healthy, and um, I'm only alive through modern medicine. And uh, so I was able to go to see all my doctor's appointments, my dental appointments, my, all of these appointments. And then people would just forget you had a, you had a Wednesday off. So we would just have Wednesday off. We'd go to a movie. Uh, it was the best schedule. It was so much fun. Um, chicken, I'm doing the same typing on a phone, watching something else on my iPad. I just described to you chicken loves and more. I'm about to find you chicken and, and subscribe. Vacations are stressful. Um, uh, what I enjoy the most about vacations is the drive. That's why I like driving places. I, I'm not the driver. My husband's the driver. But I enjoy watching the landscape change. And since I'm in the middle of Texas, the first day is just trying to get out of Texas. And then I like seeing you know, Louisiana and going down to Florida and looking at the different trees and the different dirt and just how different cities are and their infrastructure and just... That's fun. What's disappointing is that everybody has McDonald's and Burger King and Walmart and Target. The the placelessness, the uniqueness of of America is no longer unique. We are a very ubiquitous, have the same stores, the Lowe's, the Home Depot, um, Hobby Lobby, which is great for commerce, but it doesn't you don't have the uniqueness of a location anymore other than the topography. Um, it's really hard to go to a place if I, what's a local place? Where do you eat? You know? Um, so it's, it's kind of, it's, it's hard to find unique places when you're in America. Cause it's a lot of it looks the same other than the trees are different, you know, which is what I look forward to. Um, and the landscape's different. And I talk to like, where do, anyhow, um, I don't like, I travel is, my vacation to to Florida is me hanging out. I go shopping at Clothes Mentor. I went to a museum. We went to the amusement parks. I go because my friends want to go. I don't actually ride any of the rides. I like going. I spend money to spend more money. I spend money to get into the park. Then I spend more money in the park. So I try to limit my park usage because it's like it's so expensive it's like i'm spending already a hundred over a hundred dollars just to get in here i'm not going on rides i'm just going to be buying very overpriced merchandise that i know that's going to go on sale at the disney outlet because i live next to a disney outlet and so for me it's like it's just being in the environment being in the space being with the people being in seeing the kids watching the kids are the most fun at disney oh my gosh watching the parents corral their children these overwhelmed, exhausted, you know, for most people going to Disney World is a lifetime trip. It's not something people are doing every year. You're taking your kids maybe a couple times in their life, right? So when you go, it's a big deal. People spend a lot of money to do this and then they, they want it to be fun. But sometimes kids, as much fun as you plan for stuff... They are overwhelmed. They are crying. They want to see Mickey and they're crying because they're seeing Mickey and they're crying. And then they're crying because they're exhausted, you know? So it's just like, and the poor parents, it's just like, it's like watching a telenovela at the parks. That's how I feel about it. Um, I'm from here. Some Summer Disney is a death mark. Oh yeah. Yeah. It is rough. Um, and then I like, so I, I hang out when I go to parks, so I'm in a, scooter because i cannot walk the parks at all my back will not let me um so i have a, a little scooter going around the parks tooling around and uh, getting ice cream it's fun um so i love i love that type of vacation but i only do in like a seven a five day vacation at disney world i spend two days at the park the rest of the time i'm at the i'm at i'm in florida you know i went and met jolie we hung out and then I met my other friend who lives in Florida. She lives in Winter Park. Well, near near Winter Park. She lives in Lake Mary. And we hung out there. And now I've met even more people who live in Florida. All around the Orlando area. And I have a friend who lives in Tampa. So when I'm in Florida, I'm busy. I'm visiting people. I'm talking to people. I'm I'm shopping. It's Jolie's hilarious burger boy. Um, we, could, we should go meet up in Florida. You know? What are you doing in September? <laughs> so anyway, um, 
so when I come, so I like to rest. I like to rest on my vacations. Like, so I built in rest days. Like we pay for this resort. I'm going to spend some time in the resort, you know, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I relax. Like my, like the last day we were at Disney last, our last trip, James on the last day went to all four parks in one day. I'm like, are you crazy? So like, if you want to, they were dead exhausted. Every night they came back dead exhausted. Now I went to the parks only two days. They were at the parks four days. They, they went to three days at the Disney park and one day at universal. They went to four in, in a five day trip guys. Um, Oh yeah. They went to all four. They would go cause they're, she might, James went for a run. So he was running a 10 K um, with our other friend. So Caitlin and James were running a 10 K and then they spent, that day, the day they ran the 10K is, I think, the day they did. No, it was Sunday. Sun, so Saturday was the 10K. No, was it Friday? Friday was, no. Saturday was the 10K. Sunday was the four days in the park. And they are four, all four parks in one day. They did. So with Disney, you have to book your, um, the uh, high, you know, demand rides you only get go on them once so they went to each each of those parks to stand in line to ride the ride to go to another park to stand in line to ride the light ride i'm like no you know they had a blast they had a blast they loved it matt and james just talked about <laughs> yes they that's true that's true and drones um yeah, that's true. That's what that's what James talks about: gaming and drones, and um, it's it was it was fun. So that's what I do on vacation. I take as much rest as I can. I tell my friends like y'all expect if you expect me to hang out with you guys, you're talking to the wrong human. We will go to the same place. So you can stay in our hotel. We will hang out together. We will share meals together. But when you go to the parks, don't expect me to hang out with you. <laughs> it's like I'm going to be doing other things. <laughs> you can stay in line. You can stay in line and ride rides. So that's what people are doing in Disney or or trying to get the perfect photo in front of Cinderella's castle. Um. Okay, I'm on exhaust. Yeah, I'm. I am dead tired. It is two thirty. It's nine o'clock at night. I am dead tired, guys. Like, and I have to clean up this ginormous mess. So I still have another thirty minutes of cleaning to do, and then I have to figure out where to put these bags, where I don't feel like I'm a crazy person. And Craig, I am gonna mail you that that um, um, rogue. I just don't know if I'm doing it tomorrow. I do have enough boxes though. Um. I'm also going to say, good oh yeah, we're all going. We're going because I'm ending. I'm exhausted. Um, thanks. Yeah, I worked nine. I had work. I worked nine hours today. You know, I worked actually 15 hours this week, or no, 15 hours. I worked 45 hours, not including commuting time. I did training. Um, I did some 4 a.m. purchasing. I've got to disconnect. I, I literally have to actually at this point disconnect all my digital purchasing apps and disconnect and just uninstall like i can't keep looking i have to be done and the only way i'll be done is if i just not look <laughs> anyway thank you all for hanging out with me thank you for um an epic th this will never be repeated i'm never gonna do this is this i can tell you the truth i'm not gonna have a, a 10 bag unboxing in one day again <laughs> um francis let me know when it's your next chat i chat again um on mondays or live yes i ch I, I live mondays at at 6 30 and i live friday 6 6 30 unless i put a community chat a post up saying why or why not um, but as long as I'm in town and have a Wi-Fi, I can go live, um, even if I'm not in town. If I, as long as I have an internet connection, even if I'm doing a live on my phone, I can go live uh, Mondays and Fridays. So I open the week, I end the week, and then I have videos three days a week. And I have a video come tomorrow's Lunar New Year. And I think we have our... No, I think that's next week. We have a Galentine's collab coming up. Um, I fell asleep. I'm so tired. Good night, D. Gonna watch the count. How oh, please tell me, Linda, because I don't know how many I have either. Um, Central Time, y'all text. Yes, yeah, Central, Central Time, Central Standard Time, six thirty. Um, 
Friday nights and Monday nights. And then it's early. It's woo, beautiful steps. You are a trooper. Okay, I am ending the live. Thank you for hanging out with me for two and a half hours and watching everything and chatting. It's been epic. I've had a great time. Um, now I'm going to destroy all the evidence and break it all down because even I'm embarrassed about this. <laughs> okay, have a great day. Bye, guys.